Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and we finally made it to the final Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Nightmare on Elm Street 2010. We were pretty nice to a couple other Wes Craven re remakes. Maybe we'll like this one. Watch and find out. Hi everyone, Tony from the future here. This episode was supposed to come out on Monday, but I needed more time to edit it, so I swapped it out with the Dune episode. When I did that, I didn't realize that I forgot so much of this episode references the holiday that was on Monday, and there's a bunch of jokes about it. And it was too hard to cut out because we referenced it so much. So uh, let's just pretend it's March 18th, okay? Let's all pretend it's March 18th. St. Patrick's Day just happened. That terrible Yaira trailer came out. We're all still making fun of it. Uh, we 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 don't even know that Star Wars Acolyte is a thing yet. Let, let's, we're all on Monday, March 18th. Okay? So just pretend you're watching this on Monday, March 18th, so it makes sense. Okay, goodbye. Hello, Crystal. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Hello, Kaylee. How are you? Lovely. I want to apologize. I screwed up again. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you guys about the big Christmas episode. Yeah. And that was a very big holiday. I Today is also a holiday. This comes out March 18th. And I forgot to tell you guys that this is uh, National Forgive Your Mom and Dad Day. Fuck, we're both screwed, I feel like. I, yeah. I'm i sorry, this yeah, was the no. National Forgive Your Mom National? and Day episode. Yeah. Okay. By the way, this is a real holiday. In case you is thought, it really? I looked up what what stupid holidays were March 18th, and as soon as I saw Forgive Your Mom and Dad, I'm like, oh, 100%. 100%. I didn't plan that at all. So I'm sorry I didn't tell you this was the Forgive Your Mom and Dad episode. It's I'm okay. just so bad You're at not, not wearing your Forgive Your Mom and Dad outfit. <laughs> yeah. I am not. The trauma is definitely forgiving my father, right? <laughs> See, I have Freddy Krueger on my shirt, and the movie we reviewed was all about uh, dads and needing forgiveness. Yeah. So, you know, that counts. But... And I have my surrogate mom, Marge Simpson. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to talk about this movie, but I need you guys to be on a lookout. I got a lot of disturbing comments from the episodes we did together. Apparently, we have a bunch of comments. Apparently, there were two attractive women in the store. I watched both episodes. I didn't Blair. see anything. Um, maybe I keep missing it. So just uh, look around. Maybe they walked behind you guys. Uh, Mint and Johanna if, were here? Huh? Were Mint and Johanna here? We didn't know. Trisha? Um, well, I mean, Kira? Um, I'm talking about attractive else? women. I noticed you said Mint. I don't understand why you're bringing up all the other people. Um, so yeah, if you see <laughs> two so women pretty. in the store that are like kind of cute, let us know in the comments and time code it when they show up because I wasn't able to find it in the other episodes. How are you guys doing? Peachy keen. It's so great to be back together. Ah, uh, what an honor. You guys look so happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to be with her, not you. Yeah. Wow. Are yeah, you happy to are you happy to talk about Nightmare on Elm Street 2010? No. <laughs> Crystal, when did you first see this movie? I want to say after I watched the Friday the 13th remake. Oh, that was recent. It was recent. I remember. I watched that and everyone's like, I was like, this is horrible. I was like, I hate this. They're like, no. Uh, yeah. I Wait remember you say that. I'm like, I don't think she's seen Nightmare on Elm Street because that one is so much worse. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. You don't <laughs> like the Friday 13th remake? That's next on the Friday the 13th list. Um, It's okay. Okay. I, it wasn't what I was expecting. I went in, I think, with so much love for the original ah. where it kind of ruined it for me. I wasn't going in with open... Know, yeah, openness. that movie was less of a remake and more of just a condensing of the yeah. first four films, it, whereas yeah. this movie is a remake. When did you first see this? Uh, in the theaters. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you, you did? I was one of those. They. Uh, this is when I, I wised up. I was like, when this came out, I'm like, you know what? I don't like any of these remakes. I'm just not going to see it. And it felt great. That was a smart choice. It felt great. Every few years, I'll be like, I'm not going to do this anymore. The... What was a recent one? It was, um, oh, the last Terminator movie. I remember going, you know what? I'm just not going to watch it. And eventually yeah. I watched it for the show. But years later, I'm just like, it feels great just not making things a priority. I think 
you're kind of ruining it because you still end up watching them. I, I did watch it when I hit video. <laughs> you still fail. I did watch it when I hit video. So okay. this isn't like Last House on the Left where I just went 10 years not watching it. <sighs> um, and I hated it. Yeah, surprise. I was like, this is awful. It's all jump scares. And don't worry, I have the jump scares in my notes. We'll talk about them. Uh, and I remember going, wow, that Rooney Mara is terrible. She'll never have a career again. And then she got like an Oscar or was nominated for one. Turns out she doesn't suck. Yeah. Except Ooh. for in this movie. Can we just say how Oh, uh, yeah. Much the girl with the dragon tattoo. She was not as good as Numi Rapace, but <laughs> people were really hyping her. I hated that remake. It yeah. was so fucking stupid. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I was going to say, we should all say like how we watched it instead of because on Amazon, it's either you buy it or rent it. And we all refuse to do that. You know what's it's weird? so bad. Like. So Warner Brothers owns this. I know Platinum Dunes, but yeah. it's Warner Brothers yeah. New Line. This is never included. Like, the, I have, like, a DVD box set from, like, four years ago. It's not included. They don't even include it in box sets anymore. That's how much people hate. But it did so well. Yes, but Platinum Dunes, they learned from this. No they were like remakes. <laughs> yeah, they stopped remaking movies. And then they started doing stuff like Purge and whatnot. Yeah. So they were still able to succeed, but, like... The, the the movie did so well, but the negative reception from it, they were like, we're not going to get lucky again. Well, we got to just pull the plug on this. They were planning to do two, two and sequel. three. Yeah. Yep. Because they are actually telling the actors during the filming, oh, you know, we're going to, you did great. We're going to actually do the two, second and third. Like, it was in the plan to do one through three. Yes. Thank God they didn't even sometimes. Start. Sometimes studios are lucky. Like, you can make a bad movie that makes a ton of money, but they'll be smart enough to know, yeah. like, it's not going to be... Like, uh, you know, they're making the new Last Airbender live action show for Netflix. The movie that, that came out in 2010. Wow, what a great year for cinema. 2010. Oh. Two, the live action Last Airbender was the first Hack the Movies video in 2010. Really? Um, that movie made a ton of money. and But because the reception was so bad, they're like, we're not going to risk making another one. Yeah. So that's what they did here with this. They're like, we're not risking doing another one. We made enough money. We're just going to let this one die. So why then... Why try to remake it again? I guess uh, enough like time is to... enough time has passed. <sighs> enough time has passed. They're doing it again, but um, yeah, this basically this really hurt Platinum Dunes' reputation, but they were able to rebound. Uh, but you know, they had a really good director, the director of Melissa Etheridge's "Come to My Window" music video, Come to my window. and Nirvana's "Smells Like Teen Spirit," but. My mom played a lot of softball in the 90s, so I was more familiar with Melissa. I actually know a lot about Melissa Etheridge. I, That's hilarious. I have a lot of her songs memorized. That's a weird... If you don't break into song right now, I'm going to be really disappointed. You know, yeah, somebody bring yeah. me some water. Can't you see I'm burning uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the problem. You know, Crystal, you shit on me, but I'm the only one who would walk oh, across the fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> we expected you to sing, not just quote it. It's That'd too early for singing. Lame. It's not that early. It's after 12. It's too early for singing. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, uh, I forgot to write his name down. I literally put his name down. This. But I looked it up. Yeah. Apparently, Michael Bay really wanted him to do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. Michael Bay convinced him to do it. Thanks, Michael Bay. Yeah, and yeah. I think he told him it would open up like so many careers for him. It would be co opportunities and the fact... He didn't... He what? He refused it so many times. Yeah. And then Michael Bay's like, hey, no, this is... Uh, a d you're going into a different direction than what you think you are. And it's going to... Mm -hmm really be this dark and really touch people with this and really scare people with their mm -hmm. true fears. Yep. You're a goddamn liar, Michael Bay. Go fuck yeah, yourself. This director, when I looked up his IMDb, he never made movies again. He went back to music videos and yeah. like award shows. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he, he seems like a great. very talented music video director, so he's not like hurting or anything, but... No. Would you continue making movies if your film got the level of fan reaction negativity that this movie did? I would never make another uh, movie ever again. I would. Because, if I was a music yeah. video director, it worked out for one guy, David Fincher. Mm-hmm. He did Alien 3. People shit on it, but he was able to have a long career after that. But uh, yeah, it's Nightmare on Elm Street, that guy, not so lucky. I think you could always have a second chance because there's always other 
aspects to it That's than true. just directing. Yeah. I think it's going to be hard for a studio to hire yeah. you again unless you it's like redemption. Let me try something else. But then if you fail a second time, then you should just stop. Yeah. Well, the movie, apparently, according to one of the writers, there were actually like multiple writers. Only two are credited. But Eric Heiser uh, claims that most of his ideas were barely used. Mm -hmm. And he's one of the like co-writers of the movie. Uh, he made some good movies afterwards. He wrote movies like Arrival with, uh, what's her face, Amy Adams? Oh, yeah, and Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great movie, great movie. He also wrote another movie, The Thing prequel. Oh. Which me and Crystal oh. reviewed with Joe LaScola. No, thank you. You can't win them all. You can't yeah. win them all. Have you seen The Thing prequel? No. Do yourself do a favor it. and skip it. All right. Uh, to skip. <laughs> the other writer was Wesley Strick, who did uh, Arachnophobia, which yeah. was awesome. Uh, he did Wolf with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer, mm -hmm. the Cape Fear remake, and Doom starring The Rock. Yeah. He's every nice to look at. Let me tell you, I, uh, <laughs> I, I did a Doom commentary track with Mint Salad, and I forgot to record on my end. So I wasted oh, no. a night watching Doom with mint salad. <laughs> you really got to check that. Really you did. really need to check that because there was a time where we were recording an episode and he did that. We did it twice. He forgot to record twice. Yeah. And we did yeah. like, what, a more than half the episode each time? Oh my yeah. God. Well, the Batman, we did like 20 minutes and I noticed. <laughs> Anyway. Are you recording right now? Yes. Recording, okay. Cool. Recording, recording, cool. Recording. All right. Um, sure. uh, so, yes. And the big thing about this was uh, Jack, uh, Jackie Earl Haley. Yes. Uh, he was hot off of Watchmen. Yep. That kind of oh, like my goodness. made yeah. him like huge. The whole Rorschach thing. I think he did phenomenal in that, too. I in love yeah. that movie. I mean, really? the graphic. I love the graphic novel. It was just nice for me personally to see it on the screen. We'll talk about like Watchmen another day. I have issues with Watchmen. Uh, but he was good in it. Okay. He I'll was go good. I think we can all agree about that. Yeah. It wasn't the perfect movie. He but... was good, but his performance in it didn't give me faith that he would be good at something else in particular being Freddy Krueger. No. Yes. Like, I don't understand why he was so sought after. I don't understand... I don't understand. Somehow yeah. it just clicked for them. They're like this, like they, he did a reading and they're just like, this is the guy. Yeah. I, I think they're on yeah. drugs. I've seen two different versions of the story. I've seen a version of the story where his fans started suggesting him and that was why they ended up like casting him. And then the other version that I've seen in like the DVD special features, yeah. they're like, we were really seeking him out. We really had to pursue him. And I was like, well, which one is it? Because... <laughs> it can't be both of those things. Yeah. You watched the special features? I did. I you really put really a lot of effort into that. I was trying really hard to wipe Don't. my memory of the movie, so I wanted to watch the interviews. <laughs> That's why it was. Um, no, they were better. Were they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then the movie? Yes. Uh, what's it called? Robert <laughs> Anglin gave him his blessing and was yeah. excited to see him. I, I mean, if you're doing like a more scary, not jokey Freddy, I could see casting this guy. Uh, the execution was poor. <laughs> It was extremely. The look was a little poor. Oh uh, they gosh. went. They did put him in makeup, but then they threw CGI on top of it, which I get. It's apparently the same people who did Two Face in the yes, Dark Knight. Yeah. yeah. And I think we talked about this before. I get why you go digital for burn because you actually remove layers, but where you put makeup, you're adding layers. So I kind of get it. I mean, part of the face too. It like uh, it moves with it, like the yeah. breathing and stuff like that. So it's supposed to be as if it's a real. They actually calmed it down a little bit because mm. they were, they thought it'd be too much to look too, too much like a burn victim. So they yeah. wanted to go as far as they could with being not too disgusting. Yeah. But I don't think it works because that face is so iconic. Maybe you change it up a tiny bit, but to make yeah. it a completely... And they have. His like, face I, almost looks like Voldemort a little bit. Yeah, he does. Right? I, I think it's the yeah. no. Like, yeah. and I get it. I but, did oh. like how he looked in New Nightmare. Apparently Wes Craven yeah. regretted changing his look for New Nightmare. I'm like, nah, he looks fucking cool. Okay, the bone thing was dumb, but his face looked pretty cool in New Nightmare. Um, I think the thing that really didn't work for me with the makeup is how little his mouth moved. Yeah. So oh, it, yeah. it just always looked like a mask. So I like the idea of trying to give Freddy a more realistic look, and that is clearly what they were going for here. Yeah. But it was so ineffective because any time that you got any of those close-ups, you could just see his mouth kind of like, and it yeah. just looked like I, a puppet. Well, that's the other thing. Like, burn victims... They don't look scary. They yes. just make you sad. Yes. Me too. Yes. That's why, like, like, 
like Two Face in Dark Knight. He looks kind of scary. He's like fresh off of it, though. It's a little unrealistic. I kind of wish it was more like that, to be honest. I like that burn look yeah. more than Freddy. It well, just... then you would have to make them all charred in black, and then that brings up a whole a bunch of other problems. Which we talked about in our episode. Freddy doesn't make sense. It's like, did he die while he was recovering from yeah. the burns? What did he be all charred and scabby? Um, real quick, did you guys see the alternate ending? No. No, save that for the end, though. I am, but I have... S that okay. just reminds me because it's a different face. Okay. Um, Let's... Let me say one more thing okay. about his makeup. Okay. Because this was the most absurd thing that was in the DVD bonus features. Mm -hmm was they are all talking about how great and how effective his makeup is. And they're all like, everybody who's involved in the production is like, yeah, the makeup looks so great. It's so creepy. It's all this really cool mm -hmm. stuff. And then they go, yeah, but it really looked the best when it wasn't very well lit. So like we were really, really <laughs> conscious of the lighting. And I was like, if it doesn't look good lit, that's yeah. because your makeup sucks. Mm -hmm. Like that's well, the problem. It's debatable. Like, <sighs> Because sometimes they factor in, like, shadows and stuff. I'm not going to give them too much. Hey, at least the makeup was in the movie, even if it was touched up a little bit. I bitched about this, the movie that came out last year, Last Voyage of the Demeter. Mm -hmm. They did a oh, whole... I that? Really? I reviewed it with Movie Dumpster. Okay. It's good, and they fumbled it at the very end. Mm. But they put out a whole video about how great their makeup effect was. And then you see the movie, it's in two shots. Everything was digital in it. They yeah. like painted over it completely. This one you actually see it's blended together. They didn't yeah. just completely paint over him. So and I'll it, give him that. It took three hours in the chair. Mm. And I'm curious for that kind of prosthetics if maybe it should have took a little bit longer. Maybe mm. three hours to me is a little well, I mean, short. Because I mean, also, wait, was the rest of his body prosthetics too? They didn't or show a lot that? of his body. He's, they did it, but he, like... He's rocking the, the sweater for did. most of it. Like his hands and besides obviously the glove. But yeah. I'm thinking of other parts. Was that also prosthetics? It probably was, but I don't remember him without it. So No. But anyway, let's get into this movie here. Oh. Yay. Starts off with a creepy music video style <sighs> opening. Surprise! Seizure inducing. Edgy, glitchy, super cool yeah. 2010s. Oh. It's 2010s, but it looks like something from the 90s. It looks like something from Smells Like Teen Spirit, which he directed. It's got that grungy look to it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually didn't mind it. I like how like the titles are there, but then it's also written in like chalk and stuff. It's, it's not the worst thing ever. I like grungy and stuff like that, but it just I don't think it worked for this movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then we see a guy, uh, Dean... Uh, he's hanging out in the diner, and the diner is all colored red and green. I wonder if he's dreaming. I like this part. I think this is the only part I liked. It's creepy. It's creepy. I like he he follows the waitress into uh, the back room, and it looks like a slaughterhouse. There's, like, fire and dead pigs and everything there. <sighs> and then loud noise! <gasps> Freddy's glove shows up on screen, and it needed to be accompanied by a loud noise. <laughs> And then loud noise, Freddy attacks. When I first turned this on, I went, oh, no. Uh, 2010s, they went overboard with the jump scare, the loud noise oh, jump yeah. scare. So horrible. I think they finally toned that down, but there was a period where, like, I was annoyed seeing horror movies. Yeah. Like, like uh, what was it? Uh, Sinister. Mm. People were like, it's the scariest movie. Look at people's heartbeats. I'm like, no, I remember that movie. It's not it's scary. It's just... You're constantly cranking the volume and startling people. Yeah. It's not scary. No. A little fact, I didn't realize this, but it's either Saul or read somewhere that the actor in this actually stayed up for three days. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have yeah, that? This okay, guy, cool. I, think I was like, am I making that up? Yeah. So cool, he would, yeah. Which, I mean, dude, just act. <laughs> it's not that hard to pretend like you're tired. <sighs> I, I do it all the time. I guess. I, I don't, don't know. have to pretend. <laughs> I stayed oh, up yeah. three days for this. <laughs> <laughs> You've been up since this morning. He wakes up and he sees Nancy played by Rooney Mara. She's the only one who has a name from the original film other than Freddy. And I'm going to complain about that in an upcoming scene. Okay. Uh, but Rooney Mara is the not as hot sister uh, to Kate Mara, who's way hotter and a better actress. Um, she apparently hated working on this movie. Yes. And, like, considered, like... Never acting she, again. Yes. Yeah. And it shows because... I remember back in the yeah. day going, like, 
holy shit, Nancy's like a really good final girl, and this girl is so fucking boring. Yeah, she is like she's sleepwalking through the entire movie. As bad There's as nothing. as bad as Scout Taylor Compton was playing Laurie Strode in the Rob Zombie Halloweens, that girl was at least trying. Yeah, she was putting effort in. wasn't great. She put effort in this it one. I'm me, like, she just did not want to be there no, at she, all. Yeah. It makes me really sad because apparently she was excited at first and then actually working on it. Mm. It just became a disaster for her. But at least show admiri- admiration? Admi- admiration. Admiration. Thank you. Admiration for at least the final girl and for the horror. Mm. At least try and do her some type of justice if you have any type of respect for this movie. And I think if you're, I don't care if. You're not having the best time, but you got hired to do this role. Please have respect for such an iconic character that has touched mm. a lot of other females as well as a great final girl. I think she's one of the best final girls, yeah. one of them. And f- to not give her that type of respect really makes me when sad. I When I recast you on the show, I'm going to make sure the other girl has a lot of respect for you. And like, Where are you going to find that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough. Good luck. It's going to be tough. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to recast Crystal. It's got to be a black girl because I got to be like Hollywood. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> she hasn't gotten back to me. <laughs> Rooney Mara sucks, uh, and mm-hmm. she's boring. Yes. Uh, Katie Cassidy walks in as Chris. Katie Cassidy, who was on Arrow, and and it loves doing horror remakes. Yes, yes. Girl. Black Christmas, yes. which you liked. Stop doing horror remakes. Well, she did stop. Then she was Black Canary in several other versions of the character on Arrow. Oh. She does not look like a high school student. No, oh. she looks like she's 40. Seeing her and we'll get to it Where in the are they classroom supposed- scene. Hey, she's a good looking girl. No, she no, looks no, great. we never said that she wasn't. Yeah. She just doesn't look like she's Yeah, in she does look a little school. too old for the role. Usually that doesn't bother me at all. Like I know that when I am watching a horror movie that I am going to have people who do not look like they are in high school. Yeah. Playing high school people. Like, I that's not something that is bothersome to me. She was so, so far off the age range yeah. that I could not deal with. And maybe was... she was the right age, but she just ages horribly, like some people. I think you look really, really good for 68. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. All right. You look great. Kyle Gowner. You never know that you're actually 72. <laughs> this is an early Kyle Gowner role. He was also in Haunting in Connecticut. Uh, around the same time, he was in a bunch of shit. He was recently in the movie Smile. Did you get around to seeing Smile? Yes, which I think, I know we're going to talk about It Follows, but it's literally a remake of It Follows. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I have a commentary track for it with Cecil from Good Bad Flicks. Did you see Smile? Yeah. Yeah, Kyle Gow- yeah. Gowner is good in this. Yeah. Actually, last year, he, like, because it was, like, one of the anniversaries for Nightmare on Elm Street, he did a really funny post. He's like, shout out to the movie that either ruined your childhood or is your favorite thing. He's talking about how he's gotten so many different reactions to the film since it came out. So it's fun to see he had like a self-aware, self-awareness about it. He was also yeah. the Flash in Smallville. I don't know if he was good. I didn't watch Smallville. I've been wanting um, to get back into Smallville. I watched a few episodes like in the beginning when it first came out and I stopped. So yeah, I want to watch it as worse. an adult. Really? Uh, he plays Quentin, who really likes Nancy. He's really into her. Uh, but Chris is worried about Dean and his nightmares. He's just like, I have so many nightmares. There's this guy, and then there's a loud noise. The mug drops. The real- <laughs> Were you guys scared by the mug dropping? No. I wasn't scared at all through this entire movie. Yes, agreed. You don't have to keep asking us if we were scared, if you're going to do that. It's okay but... to have a jump scare as like a fake out None once of- in a while. But none of them were real jump scares. Jump scares work better with the thing scares you and is also scary. And when you're not expecting it. Yes. The worst jump scare I think I've talked about on the show was the uh, second Silent Hill movie. Pop-Tarts come out of a toaster and they cranked up the volume and that was loud. And I was like, did they, was that a pop tart jump scare? <laughs> it happened kind of like that. No, it happened like so that. early in the movie. I'm like, well, this is going to fucking suck. I'm like, this is going to be terrible. But I have a really important question on that. Yeah. What kind of pop tart? I don't fucking remember. I only saw the That's movie once. That's a really once. important I question. I saw the movie yeah. once. How can anyone remember? Um, Some top pop tarts dominate others. Yeah. Uh, Chris goes to clean herself off and then Dean heads back into dreamland. Freddy comes out. Uh oh. Yeah, and he makes Dean stab himself in front of everyone, slit his throat. I thought I that was a cool idea. That, that was That's the probably the I only liked. effect that I. I there, are, <laughs> there are two scenes that involve neck stuff that I liked, and that was one of them. Yeah, I'm. I was down because I felt like that was more of a original type yeah. kill. Mm-hmm. 
when the others were just sad excuses. So when yeah. that when that happens and Dean, you know, slits his throat, I was like, wait, is this movie actually good? And I just don't remember that it was good because it happens early oh. on enough that I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to, like, actually enjoy this movie. Oh. And then I was so wrong. Yeah. Was- and then, like, and it's good if you know the original film because you're used to the friend dying first yeah. and then her boyfriend. So they switch it around yep. a little bit. I'm like, okay, that that's something. Mm-hmm. And then it cuts to the logo and we hear the theme for three seconds and then never again. Mm-hmm. Because they're like, oh, don't dwell on the old shit too much. And then get rid of it. Um, everyone's sad at Dean's funeral. And uh, Chris is hallucinating a little girl. Did she fall asleep during a funeral standing up? I thought she was sitting down. She, um, I thought she was standing up at the grave. Yeah, she was standing up at the grave, wasn't she? Huh. Yeah, maybe she was dozing off. Yeah. Who How hasn't fallen fa- asleep standing up? At a funeral. At a funeral. At a funeral. Significant your... other. Yeah. I, can't, I can't shit on it too much because, uh, what's her face? Heather falls asleep in New Nightmare. That leads to a cool scene at her husband's funeral, which is not where you want to fall. At least asleep. it followed through a cool scene. You're just a little yeah. bit more forgiving, but. Oh, you, you didn't think it was cool when loud noise Freddy uh, grabs the little girl? Watching this again made me realize how annoyed I was at the fucking jump scares. Yeah. When I first watched this, I'm like, Jesus Christ, is this all? Is this all the fucking movie is? At least it yes. gave you something to focus on. <sighs> Connie Britton I, is ugh. Nancy's mother, and Clancy Brown, who I love, is Quentin's dad. Yeah. What do you like Clancy Brown from? He's Mr. Krabs. No, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. I that. was so excited. <laughs> I like him as the Kurgan in Highlander. Okay, well, I was excited that it was Mr. Krabs. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> the no. Kurgan in Highlander is cooler. No. Well, I didn't disagree with I that. I have something I to say. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I'll go with Mr. Krabs, actually. Oh, yeah. he's, done, he's done so many voices. That guy has yeah. a very long career. Chris sees her in a picture with Dean, but she doesn't have memories of meeting Dean. <gasps> She's like, wait a minute. I didn't meet him until high school. Which I'm currently in and didn't graduate from several <laughs> years ago. And then uh, there's that other character, Jesse. He's kind of a douche. He used to date Chris, but then she broke up with him for Dean, I think. Am I remembering that right? That seems about right. I'll be honest, the relationships were a little confusing to they me. They were. A little bit, yeah. I, but I didn't really care because I didn't care about any of these characters. So. No. Yeah. And then uh, this is where I remember just completely checking out of the film. Remember when Freddy came out of the wall in the first film? Mm -hmm. Using that practical effect, the spandex, was so creepy and and amazing. And by the way, they did it again in Freddy vs. Jason. Remember he comes out of the wall and it was also like a practical thing that looked cool? (sighs) They do it again with CGI, which I guess is to be expected. But the problem is, it looks like the wall demon from The Frighteners. Yeah. Which was good CGI for 1996, but not 2010, and not after the previous Nightmare movie did it practically, and it looked very good. It looks so bad. Really, really, really And he's bad. roaring and stuff. I was going to say, and it's too long. In addition yes. to yes. looking bad, it was, like, cut away if you're going to make it look bad. Yeah. yeah. Why am I still staring at this? Why does he have to, like, roar and his yeah, face they're... actually shows up? And it just made me really want to watch The Frighteners, by the way. Yeah. I remember really liking yeah. that movie. I did look up The Frighteners scene after this, and I was like, oof. Yeah, it was acceptable for the time, but yeah, that effect has not aged well. Mm-hmm. It's a little too smooth. Um, but yeah, I remember that's when I was like, oh, this is shit. I'm done. Yeah. Uh, but Chris's mom dodges questions uh, about the uh, pictures, and then Chris explores the attic. She's like, I know there's stuff up there, and she finds the pictures and the little girl's dress. I guess they didn't hide it very well. Yeah. It was right there in the middle of the attic, and I'm like, does she never go up in the attic, like, ever? I guess she's never been up there. But yeah, I wonder if she remembers. I was mildly confused by that also, because she's like, I'm going to the garage, and then she's in the attic. My, Did my, she really my say garage that? has you have, a oh, okay. space. Uh, all right, I was like, I was like, maybe that's a thing, and I'm just not. Yeah, familiar. I guess it's not really an attic. It's like a storage space. Yeah, because my, my garage, garage does Isn't have it that. Like a lo- it would be like a loft, right? I Almost guess. Like a, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what I the official term is. Oh, yeah, people also rent that as apartments sometimes. They up yeah. it. I remember, oh, like, people that. live above the garage and people's mine's houses. Not, mine's not livable. Mine's not that nice. <laughs> it's it's very tiny. Is there a up there that we should go find? <laughs> huh? Is there a dress up there that has little slash marks? I don't know what the marks? fuck is up there, to be Joey honest. Joey dresses are I think there. a bunch, <laughs> I think, honestly, you know what I think is up there? A bunch of unsold Mummy Cop DVDs. I think they're up there. Well, um, what are you going to do with them? Are they just going to collect dust? And probably. They're all in plastic. plastic you should right? actually sell them at cons and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you know, I tried when I first made that. <laughs> Notice how season two is it on but DVD? Now it's Shows just... you about how well it is. <laughs> it's retro changed. now. It's <laughs> retro now, right? Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, she's up there. And I wonder if she remembers Freddy. Loud noise. <laughs> Remember me. No, <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't know who you are. I, I've never met a man who was burnt with claws and a Christmas sweater. Who are you, sir? I don't even remember my childhood. How am I going to remember you? Apparently that other guy, the one writer who said like none of his stuff got in there. He was going to like explain like the glove and like where the sweater came from. I always imagine he was at a Christmas party when everyone found out and ran away. Um, the same person who knitted the original sweater for the original movie also knitted the sweater for that this one. This, and I was yeah. like, really? That's a really weird thing to be like, <laughs> we need the same knitter. Well, that's... Well, okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost censored that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. That went right over my head for a while. I was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh. I didn't even realize where it was going. No. I blame you. Yeah, it's your head. No, I blame, Man <laughs> I blame like, Manny yeah. Muskets, okay? Manny Muskets, I, he had the most censored episode of Hack the Movies ever. I know he's allowed to say it in person, but on YouTube, you just can't say work, it that right? much. You can't say it on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, Quentin tries to uh, talk to Nancy. Mm -hmm. about everything but his dad is like hey go to class right now go 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 it's like okay mr krabs i will go to class <laughs> um, but then chris uh falls asleep in class and she gets sent to silent hill <laughs> yeah <laughs> really bad cgi transition yeah it is <sighs> this is supposed originally it was nancy this whole scene was originally nancy remember how she falls asleep in class yes okay i will i'll bring it up here then I wish Nancy wasn't called Nancy. Yeah, me Same. too. Because Absolutely. the movie for a while really makes you think Chris is the main yeah. character, which again, the original movie kind of did. Cause was it Tina? Mm -hmm. I think is the character you're yeah. introduced to first. And at first you're like, Oh, is she the main character? And it's a surprise when she dies. And the other reason I really wish Chris was the main character is because in this movie, she's acting better than Rooney Mara. Yeah. Yes. And, like, I've seen a lot of Katie Cassidy's acting. It's, most of it's good. Sometimes not so much. Uh, but here she was really killing it. She was really trying. And, um, yeah, I just wish it wasn't Nancy. It would have been more of a surprise if I was like, okay, I kind of like this character. They're acting well. No, no, they died. Instead, I'm just waiting for this girl to die and Nancy to take over the movie. And I'm yeah. not looking forward to that because Nancy sucks. This movie is very odd when it comes to trying to be original and then taking a lot of scenes. It's the Almost a reason mm. why I had a, or a reason why I had a lot of problems with Mean Girl was when yeah. they tried to put so much original plus the Broadway plus uh, the original. Yeah. Also, this original, movie, this movie also works in a lot of stuff that. from Freddy versus Jason, even yeah. lines from Freddy, because that was the most popular one. Uh -huh. And it was still kind of, because this, this is 2010. Freddy versus Jason is only 2003. Yep. People, yeah. There's lines toward the end, and even like the very end is basically Freddy versus Jason. I found it yeah. so unimaginative. I, you know, sometimes you can do that, and it can really seem like a callback, and it can seem like a seem like we, an homage. It's not at all. No, least. no. It's no. just you couldn't come up with a better way to do something, so you're stealing the scene that has already been done successfully, and not as scary. Yeah, yeah. Because now she's in Silent Hill, and Freddy's on the board. Remember the first one, like. There are some dream sequences where, like, Freddy isn't even, like, really there. It's yeah. just creepy imagery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, and, to it's The whole thing is messing with their minds. It's messing yeah. with your dreams, your nightmares, making it a nightmare. You don't I mean, eventually they person. devolve into Freddy's got to be there for every single one. But um, yeah. I think we even talk about in Freddy's Dead. It's yeah. kind of cool how, like, that beginning, it's just, like, a dream within a dream within a dream. And Freddy's not there for every single part of that. The whole point of Freddy is that you can't escape from him. And I felt very much like I could escape from this version of Freddy. Yes. Yeah. And oh, there's a scene later on where he just lets a guy go for no fucking reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's like talking to her and his, I don't like his voice. Oh, I hate his voice. 
I know they wanted them to sound like Rorschach, so they like modulated it a little bit. But he sounds like the like two thousands commercial narrator, where he's like, "In today's world, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. a burn victim, In a but world. now, <laughs> yeah, like I it's I hated it so much. And again, that com- combined." His post-production voice combined with his shitty makeup, yeah, it was so challenging for me to watch because, again, you see his mouth not really moving and then this very deep, gruff voice coming out of it. And mm. it just it was so ineffective. It just doesn't line... I feel like that voice doesn't line up with the lines as well yes. because it just, to me, it's a little... <sighs> I have so many problems with the way this was written because they try to add tiny bits of the humor, but they took Freddie's humor almost, they didn't want his humor. Yeah. They didn't want, even the first one has that little bit of humor and yes. that playfulness. That's what makes Freddie He's not Freddy quite dressing no up like Superman There's and no cracking one-liners, but he's still a little humorous in the early ones. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I remember, it showed up in the trivia, but I remember when they renounced this movie, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton was rumored to be, uh, whatchamacallit, Freddy Krueger. And now I just want a version of this movie that's just Billy Bob Thornton, but as Bad Santa just yelling at people. I, would, in, I like that, that better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're fucking with me, aren't you? <laughs> I <laughs> fucking love, love Bad Santa so much. <laughs> One minute you act like the deadlights are on, and then your seat biscuit all over the goddamn... I just want <laughs> that just screaming at people <laughs> with, with just, like, the burn and the hat. <laughs> I mean, that is a really good nightmare. <laughs> like... <laughs> Billy Bob um, Thornton just yelling at you yeah. all the time. So then she screams and embarrasses herself waking up. Uh, but then her hair's like cut off. She's like, oh, no. Uh, Jesse tries to comfort her. Uh, and she mentions her nightmares about Freddy. And then he's all like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know who that is. I'm not having nightmares about him at all. But yeah. Uh, okay. This one actually shocked me. She's clearly in a nightmare. She's looking for her dog, Rufus. And I was like sitting there watching this the other night. I'm like, oh, here we go, jump scare, jump scare. And then they didn't do the jump scare. No jump scares in that you just, scene. You see the dead dog. Yeah. And then Freddy comes out without a big jump scare and he's like, I was just petting it. I'm like, wow, that was actually pretty effective. That was actually pretty good. For this movie, it yeah. was pretty okay, good. There you go. That was what um, I was looking for. And then she teleports to a qualify it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Then she teleports to the school and loud noise. Someone walks in front of the lens. Ah! Hate it so fucking much. Um, She gets attacked in the school and then uh, wakes up. Uh, But then that was a dream within a dream, which was kind of interesting. Uh, And he's all like, found you. Uh, yeah, because actually I, I like how they kind of drag it out. She wakes up, she goes to the bathroom, they do the mirror fake out, yeah. which is kind of... Actually, I think it's now become a cliche. I think in Scream 5 we noticed this too. It's now become a cliche to pan down from the mirror and go up and nothing is there. Yeah. Oh, it's a complete fake out because everyone always expects now for there's something to be in the yeah, mirror. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was it was cliche that something was always in the mirror, but now so many other movies are not doing the mirror thing. Now, now it's like, now it's, it's actually less yeah. cliche to have someone in the mirror. Yeah, it's actually... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I like when she gets back in the bed and Freddy's there. I'm like, okay, that, that kind of works. But then they do the bedroom kill. And it's not as drawn out as the original. It's just like, bangs her around a little bit and then dead. I was so bored. Yeah, I was so bored, and that that should be if you're going to redo that scene, you have to take it to the next level. Yes, and this yes. was like two notches down. Yes, yes, they sped it up. They don't even do the cool thing. We're under the sheet. Freddy's there. And... Yeah, and I don't even feel for Jesse in that scene. You know, in the original, yeah. like you're like, oh my god, he's gonna get blamed for this. Like you yeah. don't feel. You're like, I don't care what happens to him. Yeah. No. Who gives a fuck? Like, yeah. The kills in this really weren't as bloody and gory as this probably mm. should have been. I mean, if you're gonna do a remake, then go all out. If you're gonna they do didn't... this, you should have went all out, and that that scene should have been a lot more slashing, blood on the wall. Make mm. it like a full murder scene instead of just a slash. Also, I appreciate like, that they <sighs> tried to like 
tone them down a little bit because they were getting a little ridiculous. Like, I'm going to turn you into a bug and squish you. I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn you into a meatball and eat you. I'm like, okay, we're getting a little lost. <laughs> that was in fantastic. The- <laughs> like, we're getting a little carried uh, the away here. house let's- is amazing. Hey, let's, let's, let's bring it but back. The, the knives are scary. <laughs> but the thing is, it doesn't have to be I'm a I'm going to turn you into a video game <laughs> and throw you through the <laughs> ceiling. Like this. They don't have to be ridiculous like that, but yeah. just be over the top kills. Yeah. Not like how it's killed. Like, not that kind of kills, yeah. but Make it, you know, you're really ripping her body to shreds or something like that instead of a pathetic just, swipe. And but it's literally like, just one slash and then it's I done. I thought it was going to go even crazier because her body was swinging around the room like yeah. crazy. And I was like, oh, her, it's going to get insane. And then it was just slash down. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also a bummer because it's like, wow, that was the one likable character. Yes. <laughs> and she, now we don't have her for the rest of the movie. Now we don't have her for the rest of the movie. Uh, a acting. precursor to Godzilla 2014. It's like, oh, we're killing Brian Cranston before Godzilla shows up. Oh, great. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I love hanging out with all these other boring characters. <laughs> Nancy is up painting. And then Jesse just shows appears. up. Appears. Appears. Out of nowhere, covered in blood. And she's like, oh, hi, Jesse. How are you? Why What's are you covered in blood? You didn't hear him? Like, it's quiet. You're painting. It just. Does she even have headphones on to even no. justify? No. Did he come through the window? Did he just walk through the door? Because there was nothing about opening a window. There was nothing. It's hard to just climb through a window. And goddamn, I wish I could find. I have video of Johanna trying to climb into her window when she was locked out of her house. That's amazing. It was not graceful. It was not (laughs) graceful at all. And this guy was able to just sneak in and jump right in. I'm like, no, I've climbed into windows. Like, the windowsills, like, hurt. They're, like, sharp. and everything. Yeah, I actually want to mention, though, mm-hmm. the house feels like a character in the movies. It's very iconic. You it eventually that does. That's much the first one, but it eventually does. The first does. one, you still feel for it. You still feel like this is the home where a lot of shit is happening. That mm-hmm. door is so, it turns into be an iconic door. Even in the first one, it's, yeah. that's the house. Plus, the thing is, uh, towards the end, it's like barricaded up. All the um, the bars, the, yeah, bars the bars on the window. It's I put bars on the window. Bars, bar- <laughs> yeah, crazy mom. But it's that's such an important scene to where this house you don't even see it. I think you see like a little bit of an angle. It's, you barely it go through that house. Yeah. yeah, I I also struggled just talking about the house as being a character. Something yeah. else that I really struggled with was Nancy not having a father character. Yeah, John Saxon, his character is like, yeah, Ow. it's completely absent. And that for me was a really, really big part of what made the original so effective is the idea of having somebody who is, you know, part of law enforcement and yes. like yeah. a good guy within the family that somehow makes it much more intense. And same thing as we're talking about Jesse breaking into the window, we get this like it, it feels like a caricature yeah. of that character. So like yeah. he like goes on the run because he is worried the original that he's going to get grabs her while she's like walking, he's hiding in the bushes. He's not yes. breaking into her house. And it takes like a little bit longer for him Why to Why her by the and... way? Why not like his bros or something? Like he, I don't even think he was friends because with Nancy. Bro, well the does he they don't know that they're having the same dream. I don't know. Maybe it's like his bros definitely wouldn't believe him or something like that. Maybe it's just like. He doesn't know Nancy's having dreams. No, but maybe she's just a little bit more open minded than his bros that are maybe like. Maybe it was nah, just that man. was Chris's friend, maybe. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I would just be running away from everyone. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. If yeah. she, if again, if she wasn't named Nancy, I wouldn't be expecting a father character. So it's yeah. weird. Also, second remake we've done where they got rid of the dad, Mean Girls. Uh, the main girl doesn't have a dad. They couldn't get the janitor from Scrubs back. He was such a good character. I ended up, yes. I ended up rewatching the Did original you? Mean Girls. I'm like, God damn, this is so good. It's so By good. the way, you're we were right. They are not as mean in the new one. No. Fucking what's her fate? Rachel McGow Rachel, uh, Rachel McGowan. McAdams? Rachel M- McAdams. Rachel McAdams. Rachel it's McAdams. Rachel, you're you're mixing up Rose McGowan and Rachel McAdams. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're doing. That's, that's, what, right you're doing. that's exactly Wait, that's what you usually do. Yeah, I passed on Bing, to you. Bing Cosby? <laughs> Remember Bing Cosby? I like to pretend I'm a little bit more adorable. So <laughs> Yeah, Rachel McAdams is the original. She's like throwing out the R word and stuff. Like, oh yeah, that new girl didn't say any of that shit. No, they couldn't even say the word. I don't even know. I they really should have just been anymore, called but... slightly rude girls who sing. Anyway, enough oh about Mean gosh. Girls. We have a review for the remake of Mean Girls. Go check oh that my gosh. out. Uh, yeah, all the characters, I think the a lot of the points in this movie where you do feel connected was mm. completely taken out. Everything yeah. that you were like, oh, the realistic moments, instead they just replaced a lot of things with iconic scenes where you're like, I remember that. Almost yeah. like a nostalgic and then 
Bullshit. One change I do like, he gets arrested. Nancy calls Quentin and updates him on what's going on. I do like that Jesse has a cellmate this time. That's fun. Because in the original one, he's just by himself. I mean, it's just for a second. Yeah, no, but I like the idea that everything we're about to see, his cellmate is probably in there going like, ah, <laughs> what is going on? I would have loved to see that. Yeah, but uh, Quentin needs to fun. look up some stuff, and he uses Giga Blast to blast off. Uh, did you notice he hits enter and hits the button? Like, I, I love, like, before what? movies wanted to, like, pay Google. They were making up their own search yeah. engines, and I think Giga Blast and Blasting Off is pretty it fucking It looked like funny. such an old website, too. Like, back when, like, AOL first came up with it, dial, I was like, oh, are they using dial up here? It looked like Ask Jeeves from, like, 1999. <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> it didn't look I like I forgot that. about Ask Jeeves. Oh, Should God. Should have been Bing. Oh, Bing wasn't around yet. No, was Bing it? was definitely not Yeah. Around. No, it was, was like that, it was Google. That first actually... Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie, he's yeah. using Bing. And then the second one, he's Googling. It's like, oh, okay, he switched back. I see what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's looking up sleep deprivation. Uh, and then he sees a spooky girl staring at him. Okay, I kind of like this scene of the library slowly changing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cause he's like, the books are getting more disorganized and then there's like little plants growing out of the books at one point. It's not a library also. It's Powell's bookstore. I was very excited about that. It's a bookstore? It's a bookstore? It's a very famous bookstore. Oh, it is? Yeah. Did Where's it at? Um, there's one in Chicago and there's one in California. Where does this movie take place? Chicago or California? But, uh, no, cause according to Freddy's dead, Springwood is in Ohio with all the palm trees. Oh, you know what? Maybe there is one in Ohio. I hope there is. There's a bookstore with computers in it? That yeah, you can just so. go on and... I can, I can see that. Now I'm no. second guessing all of my memories. But it's okay. definitely Powell's Bookstore, and I was really excited about okay. that. Um, so oh, Powell's no. Bookstore in Ohio by all the palm trees. I did find there's one asshole who makes palm trees, like grows palm trees in Ohio. Oh, yeah. But, like, they don't last I was going to say, how do they survive? It's not the no, right environment. They're meant for, like, the summer or, like, inside your home. They're not meant to be out. Oh, some... like, indoor one? Yeah. yeah. By the way, they never say Springwood is in Ohio until Freddy's dead. Yeah. So it could just be anywhere. We were joking in the first movie. We are like, wow, a lot of palm trees in the background of this Ohio cemetery. Why do they like doing palm trees in horror movies? Because they, they all, fil they all in. film in yeah. Pasadena and they can't get rid of them. That's why. <laughs> Use your magical CGI. Why don't we just set it in Pasadena? Nah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I've been to Pasadena. It seems like a regular suburb. It's not alienating at all. Like, just set it there. I really like the setup for this scene. I like that he just sees Freddy sitting with the kids very, very quiet. I'm like, this is kind of spooky. And that jump scare. <laughs> Freddy turns that his head. That was such a shitty jump scare. Huh? I hated it because it was like a... Um... How do you, how would you explain that? It was almost, it was like a shaky almost. Yeah. It was like, you knew, it wasn't a jump scare because you knew something was happening. I just, I don't think you needed the sound. It was actually just creepier seeing him just sitting there being yeah. quiet with the kids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, So that was stupid. Um, For this next scene, again, is okay. Where you think Jesse's getting bailed and it's a trick. Like there's that big brick wall that shows yeah. up, which they did in another movie. Uh, and then uh, he ends up in the boiler room, sees more creepy kids, and then Freddy uh, chases him around a bit and then fucks with him. Mm -hmm. He's like, what do you want? He's like, I don't know. Could you bring someone back to life and all this? And it's like, oh, okay. So they, they slightly change yeah. his origin, which we'll get into. But like, yeah. Freddy's got a vendetta against these kids specifically, not just because like, they're the kids related to the people who burn him, or he just wants to kill the kids in general in the town. Do you like the fact that they show kids early on in this movie before they start explaining what the hell's happening? What do you mean? Or like is it the, just odd? The little ghost kids? The kid, the ghost kids. Well, I mean, the, in the original, the they show the, the jump rope yeah. kids before they explain who they are, so that didn't it's bother. It's not as much. The fact though. that that it's them when they're younger, which again, is a little weird. Freddy's dead, did? Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's just this movie more... just ripped off of every other movie. It really is. It did. It yeah. really, really did. And not like again, like I like not in a good way. No. I like how Friday the Thirteenth condensed everything down, but this is not doing it well. No, and they do admit that they did take parts of all the movies, mm. but at least let it make sense. Yeah, or at least pick the good things out of the movies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then um, 
and then loud noise, Freddy punches a hole in his chest. Which I guess that's updated from the original, because the original, he just gets hung. Yeah. Here, he just gets, like, fucking hole right through the chest. Yeah. Remember when Freddy got his arm through his chest on Freddy vs. Jason mm-hmm. in the previous film? Let's just do that again, but make it look worse. Although yeah. I do like the cellmate going, I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Which, that that's would be a hard horror. one that's to explain. That's horrifying. Because, like, if you had him investigated, it's like, well, he's not covered in blood. Yeah. How could he have possibly have how done that? And how did he, in general, how did he do it? Yeah. Like, h- how can you physically do that with nothing in there? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Freddy is usually, in some movies, he's good at, like, hiding what he's doing. He's covert. And then in some other movies, he's like, I'm going to turn you into a cockroach yeah. and squish you. <laughs> what I do like about that is that it actually shows what happened. I It drives me crazy in horror movies when it's like, well, what happens when they find these victims? Like, no. once the killer comes and finds, like, okay, they died. Now what happens? No. Like, it's never like, oh, someone's going to get in trouble for this. Someone's going to think someone else did mm-hmm. it. But in this, it's like you see a little bit of that which i do like and that like the effects because it is in the dreams there's no physical things yeah so it it, that i appreciate that they kept all that stuff in um so yeah uh quentin offers nancy like pills to stay awake and she's like no i don't want to do that was that do you like my rooney tomorrow impression no i don't want to take pills that's pretty accurate yeah Yeah. you know stop freddy krueger yeah it feels like she's here. Oh, it my really, God. Really oh, my does. God. <laughs> I'm a little starstruck. <laughs> you I'm, should be in the remake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cosplay Rooney Mara from Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm just going to go to conventions and go like, hey, what's up? Freddy Krueger's here. And I'll be like, oh, my God, you're Rooney Mara. <laughs> be like, are you, doing the, are you doing the second one? Are you doing Nightmare on Elm Street Yeah, I'm going to replace her second? in the sequel. That's what I thought. The sequel, they're, they're bringing me in to replace I mean, what was it? The second one in uh, Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street was a dude anyway. Yeah. That matches. It's perfect. <laughs> I'll be the... The male version of the remake dancing. Are you gonna Are you gonna shut a drawer with your butt while dancing around a room? I did yes. review Nightmare on Elm Street too, and I did dance at the end of that review. So yes, I will. Okay, Tony excellent. in a shower scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. See, that's the scariest part of the whole movie. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I shot a shower scene with you, okay, and it wasn't that great. All right. Yeah, you weren't the actor in it. I was. I know. I would have been a better that was the scene. First time if, I ever met would have been a better scene if I was the one in the shower. I would have been way more believable. I pull out, I'm showering and I pull out a gun. How, what, what is believable in that? What, what are you talking <laughs> about? That out of. Exactly. <laughs> First day I met her, like, hi, I'm Crystal. I'm naked now in the shower. And I'm like, and I, <laughs> and I, and I went, this nice is the best you. we could get. I mean, I offered, I offered to be in there. Listen, I didn't get paid. They weren't, I know, I don't know if they were paying other Yeah, actors. a lot, a lot of people paid. didn't get paid on those productions, but that's fine. Let's move on. Um, Nancy questions her mom about her past and about someone named Freddie. And her mom's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're crazy. Um, uh, I do like her mom. But yeah, then they do the tub scene. Now, what do you would you like to say about the tub scene? First of all, no nudity, not even a butt, is the first thing that I have to see. Uh, no. I guess, I guess we saw Nancy's boobs when they were underwater for like a second, but you know. second of all, don't just completely copy it. It's it it's was. a straight up copy, except for the bathtub is way nicer. I do really want that bathtub. <laughs> I was a little bit jealous of the bathtub. Um, so the dream sequence yeah. that happens in the bathtub oh, scene is God. what I had a very interesting experience with yeah. because she walks out into the snowy bedroom. Yeah. And I was like, wait a second. Is this the same universe as Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> yes. And I was like, I was uh, like, I had like this major flashback and I was like, oh no, I'm going to talk with Tony and Crystal and it's going to be Edward Scissorhands. Well, ni- and well Johnny Depp a- is in Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, and there are like knife scissor things for the hands. <laughs> what, what would you have done if Freddy Krueger was doing a nice skull? I'm surprised they didn't have the restraint to do that gag. That was, I was uh, like, I was like, it must happen. That would have been amazing. It must happen. And then it didn't happen. And I was so upset. I wanted him to be like sculpting Nancy and yeah. then, you know, fuck up that- the Ice sculpture. Brilliant. I know. Um, I was so excited. But you're right. The the tub scene, it's just his hand coming out, but they don't do the thing where they drag her underwater. That's the Um, scary Although, again, I do, like, just visually, I like this transition of her room is covered in snow, and then she takes a couple more steps, and now she's outside. I'm like, oh, that's cool that they... It's yes. way better than the CGI school turning into Silent Hill transition. Yeah. Like this, and same with the the bookstore. 
Those transitions in the dream world are so good. And then that school one just stands out so bad. Wait, which school one? The, when she's in class. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hill, yeah. Okay. There's another transition I really like. I don't know if it happened already, but when they're looking at the photo mm-hmm. and it's like the flashback, what's happening? That didn't come up. That's, yet, right? that's coming up. Okay. That's coming up. That's coming up. The other uh, thing that I liked in the bathtub scene, mm-hmm. in the dream world of the bathtub scene, um, is he does the licking of the face. Yes. Kind of like in the uh, original last house on the left. Uh, okay. And I hate that. Like, that is so... Ugh. You know, like face licking? Yeah, no, I mean, not when it's supposed to be disgusting oh. and vile. Yeah, I guess that would be. Because, um, yeah. I don't know, I saw Michelle Pfeiffer lick Michael Keaton's face when I was a kid, and that had a cool profound that. effect on me. All right. I guess if it was a creepy dude, and I wasn't asking for it. There's... Although, Batman was not asking for it, so Catwoman's pretty problematic. No, but when the penguin and her, that freaks me <laughs> out. I do anyway, not anyway, like anyway, those continue. scenes. Um, any, I just thought that that was really effective. So yeah. like, there weren't a lot of good moments in this movie, but the mm-hmm. moments that were good, I did really yeah. enjoy. And that he, was one of them. Yeah, he, in the original, was playful flirting and that yeah. kind of stuff. But in this one, besides that, very creepy. Yeah. Very, It was so much deeper and darker. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I felt very uncomfortable, but... Not in a fun way. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Freddy uh, says hi to her. Uh, he's like, you don't remember me? And she's no. like, you were my favorite. <laughs> None uh, of them remember you, Freddy. Get yeah. over it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then she uh, she wakes up in the tub. Quentin calls her and tells her uh, Jesse is dead. Um, and then Nancy and Quentin do more investigating. You know, they're giga blasting left and right. Uh, and they find out that they were in preschool together. And they question the mom about it. And the mom's like, what, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You weren't in school together? What are you talking about? And like, she calls like Quentin's dad. She's like, oh, God, they're onto us. They're onto us. So she finally tells them about Freddie. Uh, and they changed the backstory. And Kaylee, I think I text you. What did they change his backstory to? Because before he was a guy who worked at a boiler room at like a factory. What is it in this one? Uh, Yeah. So (laughs) he is now a gardener at at a a preschool who lives in the basement of the preschool, which is unimportant because he's just groundskeeper Willie. Yeah. Crystal, he's literally groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. Yeah. And The Simpsons did a Treehouse of Horror where groundskeeper Willie was Freddy Krueger. Yes, they did. I love that. I'm like, I'm like, wait. Yes. I'm like, wait, you're ripping off the parody Wait. of nightmare on elm street <laughs> i didn't put that two together because i've seen it yeah i didn't realize that was before. i forgot he was a groundskeeper until i watched it. i'm like oh my god he's just groundskeeper really he's even got the rake i'm like they literally just i i honestly think they might have just watched that simpsons episode it's a pretty around. great that's a pretty great <laughs> a good episode. oh my we god actually but that's have... why i'm so <laughs> today we you might be a... asking yourself, but why, Kaylee? Uh, and I can't even say, like, this is Simpsons predicting thing. Yeah. No, it's just they ripped is, it yeah, off. They ripped I off didn't the even, Simpsons. I, yeah. I knew they did that episode, but for some reason it didn't click together that they ripped it off. It's so stupid. There's actually My brain an episode hurts. of the show I did with uh, the Cinema Stob and Nostalgia Critic where we talked about our favorite Treehouse of Horror episodes. I was going to be in that. You were? Yeah, you told me to watch, and I watched a whole bunch of them, and then you did it anyway. It was really what, for sad. the main episode? Because we had yeah. cameos at the end. You weren't even in the I think maybe I was supposed to be in the cameo then. And uh, no, I wasn't in it. I watched a whole bunch of Treehouse of Horrors. Yeah, whatever. Cry about it. Uh... <laughs> I am. <laughs> I love Treehouse of Horror. You're an asshole. I don't know. We'll do another. We'll do another was, Simpsons can episode. We can we do yes. that? Because I would really like to participate we... in that. I have many opinions. Okay. Ooh, can we do the Simpsons movie? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I would love to do that. I have a lot to say I'm about it. I'm super into that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, See, my sadness just turned into happiness. Coming soon <laughs> or late. I already have most of the year planned out, okay? Damn. Okay. Look, look, if we're not able to get I'm a shocked. Batmobile for the summer, we might have to fill the gaps in the schedule. So maybe Simpsons <laughs> will work. But I'm yes. working on getting that Batmobile. Okay. Again, I mentioned another episode, but if if the summer comes and we're not talking about Christopher Nolan's Batman, it's because we did not lock down the Batmobile. But we're going to get it. I believe in us. So things. they've repressed their <laughs> memories of what happened because the parents started catching on. They're like, hey, you're a little scratched up and you don't want to talk about it. So they were all abused by this guy, uh, Freddie. And we have no reason to think that they're lying because Freddie basically admitted it and he's killing them. But the rest of this movie up until a certain point will have a question, a mystery of whether 
he was guilty or not. I'm like, well, he kind of admitted it. He so did. Me as the audience member, I, I'm ahead of you. Uh, yeah. Also, if he really liked the kids, wouldn't he be like killing their parents? Yeah. yeah. Like the molesting thing was implied in the original, but the the problem was he was killing the kids. So why is this guy who didn't kill the kids in life now trying to kill them in death? So Wes Craven actually wanted to go further into that, but yeah. just didn't. So that's yeah. why they went into that. It's because they're like, we're going to honor Wes Craven, who hated the movie. Yeah. Good job honoring him. <laughs> he didn't really even find out original. that it existed until it was mid-production. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure yeah. Robert Shea was like, yeah, whatever. I do whatever I want. Yeah, <laughs> so... Did they do the, re this is after they did the research, though, finding other people having the nightmares, right? Um, that was at the oh, library wait, wait, or It's, the it's about to happen right oh, now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Quentin, I, has, Quentin has to go swim to a swim meet, get mm -hmm. a nice little speedo. Yep. Uh, and then Nancy is gigablasting all over the place. Okay, She's gigablasting oh all the other students. I really want to talk about it. It was the style at the time. <laughs> that was the style at the time. Uh, she's wearing a rope belt <laughs> and carrying an onion and giga blasting. Um, uh, so all the other students have died. And one of them is the guy from the Friday the 13th remake, the one who posts the video. Yeah. Um, how do you... This bothered me so much. Yeah. His head gets slammed against the computer screen. Yeah. And we're going to assume his death happened right then and there. No. How did the video get uploaded? He was live streaming in 2010. I'm yeah, pretty sure you could have done that. Everybody did that. It, they camera. didn't look like, I don't know, maybe. I'm I, sure like the cops like looked at the footage. And, and it was still online. I don't know if that, I don't know if you can get evidence like that. Uh, well, it's possible. It just. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to question that. Because that guy was funny in the Friday the 13th reboot. And we're going to give this one a pass. All right. So was the ones that are left in this movie that Freddy is currently killing? Those are the survivors. Those are the survivors. But everyone else died. And it's no like, one else put that together. It's kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street 3 when they talk about all yeah. these suicides that are happening. Because he's like killing kids off screen. And we also get the they're taking the medicine like reintroduced yes but they never heard of all these Medicine. kids just randomly dying like with social media and everything they're at probably that time. spaced out are, are they all in no. springwood does he have a limit in this or can he kill them anywhere that's the question So why would it be spread out though if it's so quick in this movie i don't know i didn't write the movie crystal i'm doing the best i can <laughs> here all right <laughs> because the thing is he's brought back by memory He's brought back because he's in being kept In some alive. versions, this version, he just kind of comes back on his own. Out of own. nowhere. Yeah. Out of fucking nowhere. Um, Unless one of the kids had a memory. That would be kind of cool to hear that if one of the kids yeah. that he killed earlier. But well, there was that was what was planned for number two and number three. Yeah. I'm sorry you're not getting your backstory because you never got those movies. There was, I'm okay with that. <laughs> there Actually, was okay a deleted... That. There was like a deleted thing, a deleted idea uh, in the original where like all the kids were like siblings to the previous kids who died. Uh, like Nancy had like an older sister or mm -hmm. something, but I think mm -hmm. that was all deleted. I think I talked about that in the first episode. Um, but yeah, uh, Quentin swims his way to dreamland. Yeah. And now he's in a flashback. So did he fall asleep in the pool? <laughs> yeah. Who the hell falls asleep in a pool? Well, he's been up for a couple of days. Yeah. That's not where I usually fall. I don't usually fall asleep while swimming. No, I think if you were to fall asleep, you would wake up very quickly because you're drowning. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he gets to see his parents doing vigilante justice. And they're throwing the fire on Freddy, who's wearing a jacket. And then he's all like, I didn't do it. Oh, my God. Because he fled town. The Different backstory. He wasn't put on trial in this version. He just fled town when the kids started talking. So they hunt him down. They all start burning him. Connie Britton's like, we probably shouldn't do this. And he's like, nope, we're going to do it. Uh, this is the only way. And then as he's burning, he rips his sweater. He rips his jacket off to show the sweater. And they use that in the trailer. And I guess I guess they just didn't have time to show three little fish demons coming in going, do you want magic powers? <laughs> I'm sure they were going to do that, right? It works so well. They used enough CGI. They really could have thrown Why couldn't they throw in those fish, those little fish demons to give him his magic powers? They were trying to make this very realistic, okay? This was a very realistic dark movie. Realistic very deep. And original. Yes. No copied scenes. Yes. Um, but... 
my problem with that aspect that if yeah. you're bringing that into it and he's trying to convey that he is innocent yeah. to someone in their in his dreams but yet you just basically admitted that you molested the others that's so the how? thing None of he's kind of being pervy and molesty and not really hiding it so the whole idea that the movie wants you to like think maybe he wasn't the bad guy it's like well i kind of know how these movies go and he's kind of admitted it. this isn't really a mystery i'm just yeah waiting for the characters to catch up to where I am. Yeah. yeah. Where I was at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I felt very similar. Yeah. So what do you think if they, I think this was an idea of actually keeping it, him being innocent. I would have been something, but then you got to explain yeah. why he's so sadistic. Because he's angry. Because now revenge. he's getting revenge. So the parents killed him. Yeah. In, like they should not have killed him. Yeah. They falsely accused him of something. He ruined his reputation and he died. So now he wants revenge. And the best way to get back at somebody is to fuck with their kids. I get that. But I that would have been great. If that yeah. was me, I wouldn't be like cracking one liners and being real like extra about it. I would just kill the well, kids. You're not Freddy Krueger. Yeah. I'm he, not. Duh. He's kind of fucked up in the head. I think if, you know. But if he's innocent, then he wouldn't be fucked up in Yes, you head. would. If you were, a, how many people that are accused of um, wrongdoing, wrongdoings? Was, is that, would that be? That yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you're accused and put into jail, how many people just kind of go crazy? Me, like, I didn't do what I didn't do, but everyone yeah. else, you're like, but did I do it? But did I do it? Yeah. That's a whole psychological thing. I guess so. I don't know. The thing is, I don't like the whole well, the whole like question in the film because yeah, it's just, I completely because I know where they're gonna land eventually, and it's just it's just a waste of time. Well, and really again, was. it's entirely the hat is tipped to the audience, so it's not the mystery they expected it yeah. to be. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, you know Friday the Thirteenth with Mrs. Voorhees. If she actually was in the movie early, yeah. which they probably should have done, because again, the movie feels like a whodunit until yeah. the end. But if she was in the movie early and then she was just like, I can't wait to kill some kids. And then the movie proceeded to be a whodunit. It's like, well, it's, it's that lady. Yeah. She yeah. admitted it. That's how this feels. Where Freddie's like, I loved molesting you. Oh, am I innocent? It's like, well, you just said. Yeah. Uh, please don't clip out me. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> if you didn't say that just now, I don't think anyone would have done it. But because you said don't do it, now no, everyone's going to want to do it. So yep. you just fucked yourself over. Damn it. Damn it. Whenever you tell someone not to do it, it makes them want to do it. <laughs> they do the body bag gag from the original. Dude, yes. That. Yeah. And they did it poorly. Yes. Yep. I believe that my notes on that were... Um, Bad body bag. Yes. <laughs> bad body bag. Ooh, and I don't even remember times. what this one is, but apparently while Quentin is trying to get meds, Ew. Nancy gets a loud noise jump scare. Yeah. And I can't remember what it was. Were you scared? No. Okay. Uh, but she burns herself to wake up. Oh, uh, that I actually thought was kind of interesting. So she burns herself with the cigarette lighter in the car. Yeah. Which was just like in the last house on the left remake. Right. Using the, And I understand that they using the cigarette lighter in the car to burn yourself. That was in That's, Chucky. The first yeah, Chucky. It's, it's a little bit of a trope, but I did think it was interesting. It was mm -hmm. in all these Wes Craven remakes. How many people do you think actually at this point, how many younger Gen Z and below even know that exists? Yeah. I know. I know. Do they still have them in cars? No. Yeah, I mean, my car has it, but I don't have the no, actual have, lighter. Yeah, the lighter doesn't I have come have with the, the car anymore. The hole. The hole's still there. You get the hole, oh, but you don't get the counterpart to the hole. And then you <laughs> Please don't the... clip out her oh, going, you get the hole. hole. You get the hole, and that's the best part. So and what you're saying you know, is that. Yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> put other things in the hole. the hole. Yeah, just And then not... it, is, it works just as well. Exactly. It's so, just in a different way. Exactly. So does your car have that? I don't have a car. Oh, fuck. I was going to do a joke. I was like, oh, so if I'm in your car, can I plug your hole? But you just fucking ruined the joke. Cool. You're welcome. Awesome. Awesome. So no is the answer. Can I plug your hole? <laughs> his, are, his, are, his is already plugged. <laughs> Here, he said it. <laughs> his hole is plugged. <laughs> <laughs> this is gone. This is gone so I love this. <laughs> Tony, you keep fucking yourself over here. I love you Sorry, on the show. I didn't expect <laughs> my great. stupid joke to get turned back on me. <laughs> okay, okay. 
<laughs> so the thing doesn't work. Uh, she's still in dreamland. They do the sparky hands effect, but they go overboard with it. Because it's like, shh. it's like, okay, okay, relax, relax. It was creepy when he put his hands on the wall, but now it's just like he's shooting a sparkler out of his hand. Um, Don't kill iconic moments like that. Yeah. That's this, such an iconic moment and they killed it. This I kind of like. I kind of like the cutting between the actual store and the boiler room. When he's like throwing things off and it, it'll cut to the shelves. Uh, recently, uh, me and Casey did My Bloody Valentine 3D. Nice. And there's a scene like that where the killer is smashing the lights and he'll like for a second look like the the miner. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of, I actually didn't mind this too, of the cutting back and forth between locations. And for me, that is a good, you know, nod to the original. I mm. like the idea of featuring the boiler room. And I, mm. and again, I kind of liked that scene as well. I think yeah. that that's a good way to do it without making it too kitsch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I think she gets, yeah, she gets sent to the doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, they try to put her asleep and she freaks out. Do you know who the doctor was, Crystal? No. Can can you hold up your keychain? Oh. It's Judith Hogue from the Ninja Turtles movie, the first April O'Neil in the live action Ninja Turtles movie, who didn't come back for the sequels. I was watching that. I'm like, wait, I know that lady. And I'm like, because I did the Ninja Turtles over the summer. I'm like, oh, that's Judith Hogue. What the fuck is she doing in this as a cameo? What the fuck? I hated that scene, though. No. Yeah. Because... There's this whole subplot there where the mom is giving authorization mm. to put Nancy to sleep. Yeah. Oh, and yes. that is a really fucked up and interesting thing that we could have actually talked about a little bit more is. Mm. And instead of talking about that and the idea of the mom doing something to put her daughter in super severe danger is completely ignored. And instead, we completely jump over that and Nancy just escapes out of the hospital. Yeah. But in and other then we're done talking about yeah. that. topic. Yeah. It happened in earlier Nightmare on Elm Streets when they're trying to put them under what it was it in uh, Dream oh, it, Warriors it, in four. It? Remember the mom like puts sleeping pills yeah. in uh, that's the what girl's it was, thing, and yeah. that was heavier. Like they focused on that, which was cool. It should be a heavy yeah. emotional thing because again, here we are having these kids who aren't being believed, mm -hmm. yes. and now the parents are trying to be helpful, but the exact way that they're trying to be helpful is the thing that will kill their kids. Yeah. And that's a really interesting psychological thing to look at, and instead of us looking at it at all, it's just completely yeah. erased. Yeah. Just they like wrong. take the time to shoot her like signing off on the authorization. Yeah. They do a close-up of her signing off like, on why the document. Do this whole hospital thing anyway? Just it, yeah. That whole scene could have been gone. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that you already have established the fact of these kids don't have any memory yeah. already because mm -hmm. what suppressed memory is that what Re it was repressed memory. repressed yeah. um, she suppressed rep it <laughs> <laughs> I'm great with the English language <laughs> um, repressed memories there okay great and then they never the kids never really went to therapy like the the parents yeah. didn't help them through this instead they just. Every single, I'm sorry, but not every single kid's going to have repressed memories of this. So mm. somehow this never. Yeah, the fact was, that so oh, many of them yeah, repress the memories. It's a like, lot of people uh, have super, super fucked up. It's trauma not like they were they like didn't forget it. three. No. Like no. they were old enough to they have were in memories. Preschool. Yeah, and I remember I, preschool. Yeah, so do I. And I, I will absolutely. Not give all it. of it, obviously, <laughs> but yeah. I will absolutely give it to a few of them did have repressed memories of it yeah. because that happens even as an adult you your memory wants your body wants to protect yeah. you and it will and also not to get like too gravity or like, too disturbing like most of the people who commit those assaults are like family members and friends so like so kids usually have like a reason to want to like push out those memories because it's someone close it's a to them survival me mechanism it yeah. is but like the janitor at your school you have less of a reason to want to make sure that guy doesn't get in trouble i i don't know i feel like I, you try I, to repress it when it's more someone closer to you. That's how that's how I think. I mm, I don't know. I, I I I could see it happening even if it's not someone that's close to you because also as a child, mm. adults that you look up to can also feel close. I don't think like, anyone's I, looking up to the creepy groundskeeper. Not though. If, if the groundskeeper is playing with you, playing. Yeah, he doesn't and that's, seem like he was being creepy to that. Like to a kid, that seems like an exciting. Uh, like, this yeah. is a. Maybe it's just because he looks weird. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, oh, I don't like that guy. But how many times have you, you know, if you think back on adults that probably weren't the most appropriate or were kind of, you know, not the best humans, but as a kid, you kind of looked up to them. Mm. 
Or maybe I just had more in my life. Maybe I, I, Crystal, I, uh, by the way, I hope Ooh. everyone's National Forgive Your Mom and Dad Day is I'm doing so happy well. that I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think the entire class would all repress their memories. No. I, that's that's. Whatever doctor helped with that must be a genius. I get that. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. I was just saying there's already a good chunk of kids. I can't. How many people would you say or how many children were you thinking that photo? Oh, there was like 15 or something. Yeah. So by the way, by the way, there's children? there's kids who will definitely not bring it up and hide it. Yeah. But well, the fact that they all deleted their memory, every single one of them deleted their memories, that's a little. And did he do it to every single one of them, too? That was what I was going to. Well, he's killing up. them. Yeah. Is. Don't you think it's a little bit weird? Like, I understand that people who are bad people don't always think things through. But I would think that you would not choose an entire school class to mess with because all those kids might talk to each other, might tell their parents, might Which do Which is why, unfortunately, it happens in, like, families yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But well, also, also, he had a... They call it the cave. He had a secret room. It's like, also, yeah. where's the teacher during all of this? The teacher should be around the kids more than the groundskeeper, I think. I'm going to go with there was only one teacher dealing with a whole bunch of preschoolers and it was just understaffed because actually that does happen a lot where a lot of certain um, preschools and stuff like that. You hear some. I I would be petrified if I was a parent because you hear so many fucked up stories that happen in preschool. And people wonder There's why tons. homeschooling is a preferred these days. I would agree with that, but if they could afford to hire a gardener. For yeah, preschool... if you're cutting the budget, the gardener is not high on your list. Well, I mean, you have landscaper. Uh, yeah, I guess like a... Yeah, I, I don't know if you've ever seen... Who lives in the basement of your school Maybe, also. Maybe he, there was a deal where he got to free do... Living. Yeah, free yeah. living. Chris, I don't know that. if you've driven around the uh, suburbs a lot, but uh, the landscapers I see, they don't look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they don't look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but they also don't uh, live in the basement. No, the they don't. Well. They don't. Weird. Um so yeah, that's what my whole point around yeah. that was. These parents already fucked them up from being a child, and now they're doing, or at yeah. least the one mom's they're doing making it, it worse again. again. But yet, like, unless they tied into like some supernatural thing, like the thing that makes Freddy come back. But no, that does not sound even explored. Um, again, it was in two and three, and we just never got to find out about <laughs> it. What a tragedy! <laughs> All of our questions would be answered if only we had those movies. I do want to ask, though, it, w how would you feel if that was taken out? The whole molesting. Would you feel different about this movie? Or well, then you kind of don't really have a story. So I would feel exactly the same. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's <laughs> story. I, to me, I feel like that just gives it a whole nother level of I don't care for this movie. And maybe it's just that subject mm. where I'm just like. I'm happy they didn't do that mm. in the first or just hinted at it. I don't think it needs to be that in your face because I know we're going to go into scenes where it's it's a little bit more disturbing. Yeah. And I think for keeping such an iconic movie and such an iconic character and giving him this really disgusting, dirty, deeper mm. like motive just to me turns me off from this movie completely. Yeah. So I'm curious if he did it just as what the original did, if I would feel a little different. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that mm. Quentin really wants to date Nancy, and he's bringing oh it God. up right now. Yeah, why not? While she, everyone's going. Hey, Quentin. This. Quentin, let's wait a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> this is this is wait a couple of days. Maybe he let's... just knows they're all gonna die. <laughs> Last ditch effort. Uh, but it's a it's a <laughs> cute to get moment. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm not going out of virgin. Look, 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 look. No, I feel for Quentin. Look, yeah. it's a very cute moment, and I sure hope it doesn't get ruined by a loud noise. Loud noise! Freddy is in the middle of the road. He's, like, waving or whatever. Uh, and then they crash their car. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They eventually investigate the school, and they find the cave. So earlier, Quentin yelled at his dad. He's like, did you even find the cave? You don't even know if the guy was innocent or not. Uh, and they find the cave in five seconds, so... Whoever did the initial investigation didn't do really a very good job. Yeah, <laughs> and all the stuff's still down there. Yeah. yeah. Also, what is that room? How did he find that room? How do the people mm. running the school not know about that room? What purpose does that room serve? So the parents it knew that this was happening because they all got into wanting to murder him, mm -hmm. and then nothing. They didn't say, "Hey, let's find evidence. Let's find. Let's get rid of all the photos." Yeah. Oh my goodness! Why would you want? 
photos. I think they did the kids mention photos. Yes, they so, mentioned that he took okay. pictures. Photos of because she children. found. Yeah, yeah, she finds the pictures. Yeah. yeah. So if there are photos taken of your child, don't you think you want? No, 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 find no. Them? The the parents never found that. that room. Yeah, but did the kids ever tell them about the photos? They did, photos but they never found. They never found them. Crystal's point is that if the room was so easy to find by Quentin at this point, how the fuck did the parents? No, no, that's my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but like you should have more of a motive because there's photos. Yeah. Yes, that's the reason why I'm bringing that up. Yes. There's the, such the motive. Okay. Should be like. Oh my God! Let like me find these photos. The parents yes. should be like, "Wait a minute! The outside of this building doesn't make sense yeah. compared to the amount of rooms that are in yeah. it. Where did this take place? Yeah. Where is the cave?" Yes, yes, and again, she finds it right away. Yeah. Well, don't you think the kids would also know where they're being taken care? Of? Wait, how did the kids even get there? I don't know. Maybe he blindfolded them. Before but he like got when? Down there. When? That's another point. I'm like, aren't they like, when did he have time How to get them away, away from the teachers? How far away was it from the preschool? No, it was in the preschool. Oh, it was in the preschool. Yeah. I don't think that the continuity of this movie makes any <laughs> it sense It doesn't at make all. any sense at all. It jumps around a lot. Like, I feel like we're in the hospital and then we're in the this place and then we're so in the... <laughs> anyway, let, let's move forward. <laughs> but the, when they condemned the school, that's right. <laughs> it was in possible. the school and it was... <laughs> I mean, it's still a nice looking building. Someone's going to buy long... it eventually. Okay, one. Did the school just be like, oh, groundskeeper is gone. Wouldn't they do something with that basement? Wouldn't they find the cave by renovating it? Or I'm sure years went on. I, I don't know, Crystal. I didn't write the movie. <laughs> this hurts. So anyway. I don't like it. They find the creepy artwork and the box of uh, n pictures of Nancy. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. realize now that Freddie was guilty, even though he already confessed to it yep. and confirmed it for us. Uh, but then Nancy comes I don't know. I think he's innocent. Nancy comes <laughs> up with the idea to pull him into the real world because she pulled a piece of his sweater out. And she's like, I was his favorite. I'm the only one that could do it. I'm like, is that how that works? He right? told everyone that, that he was, they were his favorite. Just yeah, so I bet he says that to all of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Like me, I'm always like, you're and my And the guys. Favorite. He molested all of them. To my fans, I'm always like, you're my favorite. Insert fan here on Patreon who paid at the top tier. Sorry, $2 tiers, you're not you're my favorite. You're just another. You're just another <laughs> money to him. Just disgusting Tony. I love money and I've never tried to hide that fact. <laughs> I've did. been very open about it. Yeah. I Again, I can't it. sell out. I had no morals to begin with. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, You're so sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they uh they they put her to sleep. Um yes. and he's gonna use like adrenaline to wake her up. Uh yes. and they kiss. I don't know. Personally, if I was going to go fight a pedophile demon and I just looked at pictures of me being molested as a child, I wouldn't be in a kissing mood. But no, you know what? Moon. Nancy no. and Quentin, they're into it. Um, I'm shocked. It, like, just seeing those photos and that coming to yeah. a realization, I, it, like, they didn't really even take that into more of a moment. Like, that's mm. fucked up. Yeah. Well, look, look, look. You can process this thing or you could fight a dream demon you got to prioritize one over the other crystal i think the dream demon but they be sad about the pictures tomorrow we got to fight the undead dream demon now <sighs> i'm just saying well, that would be it, my top i priority. feel so in the middle right <laughs> that now that would be my top make me very uncomfortable you guys why every episode Mom we're fighting dad, stop fighting so that i can <laughs> enjoy the forgive my parents wait you know what yeah, yeah forgive us <laughs> You're going to enjoy that? <laughs> By not? By forgiving you both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, look, look, look. He, uh, he finds an old paper cutter. Yes. And he uh, fashions it into a weapon yeah. like Thomas Jane did in The Punisher. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, she. Uh, uh, uh oh, he fell asleep and he gets sliced. And for some reason, Freddy doesn't kill him. He just leaves him. He doesn't even put him in like a dream prison well, or something. Well, then how is the rest of the movie going to happen? He's so excited to see Nancy. He's like, well, I should kill this guy She's who's trying to kill favorite. me. But Nancy's here. And then he accidentally cuts his face because he's doing this and he's <laughs> he wearing a glove. <laughs> he tries to be funny with her. Suddenly she's back in her house hiding from him. In the dress. Yes, Come on. in the little girl dress. And then, which the again was Freddie's dead when his daughter is suddenly in the dress. I know. Uh, and then we get a loud noise. Boo. Cause he's in the closet. Mm. 
not a good uh, closet scare. Nope. No. The best closet scares were obviously Michael Myers breaking the closet, which we perfected in our Halloween oh, short. Oh. I did such a better job breaking that door down. That was my head, by the way, going through the closet. <laughs> and if you are a patron, you get to see that vlog where I show six different angles of my head going through that closet. The vlogs were I think way better than the actual <laughs> thing that we made. Because the, uh, it was so My favorite funny. closet scare is Pumpkinhead. When uh, Pumpkinhead like looks in the closet and then walks away and then he comes right back in the closet. Man, let's see. We gotta do Pumpkinhead at some oh, point. Oh, I'm totally down Pumpkinhead's to it. so good. I did do Pumpkinhead 2 on Movie Dumpster. Not as good. Not as good. <laughs> Bill Clinton's uh, half-brother's in that movie. So that means yeah. his dad cool. was probably like, I have two sons. One of them is the president and the other one Plays guitar and pumpkin head to blood wings. <laughs> Check out that movie dumpster episode. That was a fun time. Um, they do the liquid floor gag, which they've done in previous films. Yeah. It's fine. I actually liked it. Yeah. I thought it was good. It doesn't work so much in the original when she's going up the stairs because you can see which steps are supposed to be the liquid floor. It was done in what? Three. I think they did it. It worked well. This one, it worked well too. Um, and then he goes, your memories are what fuels me. But she had no memories. Yes. Yeah, that's a little weird. That's why I talked about, like, is it the kids earlier that don't have repressed memories? Oh, I'm getting good with the word repressed. You, you know, you're right. Maybe some of I the kids. New words every time maybe I the kids who <laughs> didn't repress it had, had memories memory. and then fueled him. Okay. And then once Nancy now? started remembering, that's when he gained more power. And that's why he gotcha. was able to. And the reason I forgot that line is because immediately after he rips off Heath Ledger in the dark night by going, look at me. He like almost does it verbatim. Yeah. Almost does it verbatim. I can't wait to talk about the alternative ending. Keep going. <sighs> and then I have eye stab. And I think I repressed a memory because I don't remember what the eye stab is. I think I assume Freddie gets stabbed in the eye. But yeah. Nancy stabs Freddie in the eye with scissors. I literally can't remember that scene. It's yeah. a repressed memory for you, Tony. I repressed. <laughs> if only I could repress all the eye stabbings I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> I get people the still other show thing... them on Twitter to you. <laughs> I love it. It's like <laughs> recently too. So annoying. I think it's hilarious. The other thing that we get though in up until this point of the scene, so like in the when the floor turns into blood. Yeah. Um, we get some of the Freddy comedy. So we get how is this for a wet dream? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Which was the... in four, I think, with the, the hot yeah. tub kill. Yes. Um, does he say something about like your body says no or something? No, yeah. he's yeah, Does yeah, because he? he, it's his, um, when he's putting his, um, claws against, like, against her, he goes, yeah, and that's when he goes, it's like going up around, uh, up the dress and everything, and it's saying, your, um, uh, your body says, what was it? Your body says, says no, no, but you're, yeah, that's from Freddy versus but Jason. I know you want to or something, yeah. He literally did that in Freddy versus Jason. Also, I want the audience to point out that she said claws. <laughs> I really want you to point out because I don't want to be the only one who gets made fun of for this anymore. Okay, she said claws. Anyway, yeah, that is straight I'm up South Jersey as hell. Okay, that is straight up from Freddy versus Jason. That line, yeah, so, which again was the most popular and recent one. So they're borrowing a lot from that. Um, so Quentin wakes up because Freddy didn't kill him. Yep, uh, and he stabs her with the adrenaline. Uh, he's just like shoves it into her heart like fucking Uma Thurman in Pulp I Fiction. Yeah. Do you like going into the bed? Because that is from the original. Which oh, yeah, and the see. blood that's the coming first out. Time, yeah. Right? That's the first time we see that is going yeah. through the bed. Yeah. And yeah. I, like I feel that like that too. is a very iconic yeah. scene. Yes. Uh, but, but yeah, I, she pulls Freddy out and they're fighting him for a bit. <sighs> and then she goes, you're in my world, bitch. Much like the girl in Freddy vs. Jason yes. says. And then she chops off his head. Much like the girl in Freddy vs. Yes. Jason. It's like they literally watch that episode of The Simpsons and Freddy vs. Jason yeah. and try to make something out of it. I hate, I hate this scene so, yes. so much. Yeah. Because Nancy is stuck in a house with mm. bars on it. She's screaming for help. It's so much more She intense. home alones it. She does. Yeah. She is a bad ass final girl and she is fighting for her life and you see that and she is being so clever. I love the ending And the only of the reason original. Nancy died is because I mean, unfortunately, she did forgive her father and hugged him, but it turned see out to be Freddie. Yeah, you know see what? what happens? You this know is what? a bad holiday. 
bad holiday. You were about to go home and hug your father, and you're like, no, he, he might wasn't. be Freddy Krueger. I can't I do that now. I don't know where I he is. I don't participate in this holiday. <laughs> Um, I really hated the This Is My World Bitch, not only because of the blatant ripoff, but yeah. also because Freddy does not say bitch at all in this movie, and I need my Freddy to say bitch. Yeah. Do you find it- He didn't be- really say it until, like, the sequels. He didn't, but again, it's that, that's personality. Yeah. That I now, like, if you're going to pull from his He much did overdo stuff, it a little bit in five. I think we were talking about it. But yeah. When he left it on the little post-it note with the Freddy magnet on the refrigerator, he kind of overdid it. I definitely, I mean, it became a trope, but if you are going to copy as many scenes as you did in mm. this movie, so in, you know, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2010, we have the body bag, we have mm-hmm. the, yeah. you know, we have the floor water we have the yeah it's weird how they're like tub we have all of these scenes if you're going to do that include the other tropes as well the language the script the script that the language the the wording the acting in those scenes is what made it iconic just not the visual aspect Mm. but they're just taking the visual aspect mean like hey look these were in the other movies remember this yeah do you think that this movie was watered down a lot being more because it was rated R, right? Yeah, it's rated yeah. R. But it almost feels almost PG-13 to me because there, there isn't were rumors any early there's on, no... and they had to debunk yeah. them. Yeah. But yeah, it, just... so then you would think they would go really into the R. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel not. like the there was enough gore or kill. I don't think that there was enough. Which the language. Friday Thirteenth reboot previously had a lot of, yeah, an abundance of. That's the thing. It's you're taking a '80s slasher, and yeah, mm. you're trying to modernize and stuff like that. But at least actually, keep that feel. I'm actually surprised they didn't try to connect the movies early on. This is before. This is while the MCU was going on, but Avengers didn't come out. If this came out post Avengers, they would have made this movie, but tried to tie it to that Friday the Thirteenth movie. They tried to tie it to Edward Scissorhands, <laughs> and they failed. We have gone over this. That's what happened. I need someone to do I fan art that. of Freddy doing a nice sculpture. <laughs> I would that must that. exist. That it probably has does. To. Um, I but I mean, this is the movie that makes that happen. <laughs> I did. I did though enjoy. I hated this end scene. I thought it was awful. And I think Crystal, you hit the nail on the head. It. It is not. It. It's like a caricature of itself. Like it is not doing all mm. of the things that it needs to do. Yeah. But I did actually think that the effect of Nancy slitting Freddie's throat was actually pretty cool. Yeah. So I liked both of the throat slashing scenes. Yeah, I liked Dean's in the very beginning, and I liked this in the very end, and I did think that that was nice bookends to the film, despite the fact that I hated everything in the movie. Yeah, but I, I think the slow it, it it's a little bit of a slower kill. Yeah. I think is what makes it so more impactful. Yeah, I agree because it's slower. You can see the gore a little bit, and you see how everyone's reacting to it instead of just quick kill, quick kill, quick kill, where you can't even react to it because you really also. There's not much to see. Yeah. Loud noise, as someone would say. Yes. Wait, there's uh, a loud noise in this movie? Yeah, yeah there were several. Weird. I made note of them. Go back and watch. No, and then when okay. you go back and watch, let me know if there were two girls in the store. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any. Did anyone come in? Um, then this part really pissed me off. Because uh, fucking Quentin's like, let's burn it. It's like, uh, or does Nancy say burn it? One of them goes, let's burn it. It's like, wait, but this room is evidence? And you have yes. the killer's body. Why he's an undead zombie in a Christmas sweater. Good luck explaining that. But you have him here and the evidence. You should probably let people know. Instead, they're like, let's burn all the evidence. It's like, wait, why? Why are we doing that? That and the fact that he already survived a burning. Like, Yeah, that was the thing. Like, Well, he, he kind of came back from that fire the last him. time. Yeah. And also, it means that they're no better than their parents. So, really? I mean, I think yeah. that a part of what this movie is saying is maybe the parents didn't make the right decision by doing vigilante justice. Yeah. Perhaps they should have let him go to jail and then their kids wouldn't be suffering. And, you know, they lit him on fire and now the next generation is lighting him on fire. Yeah. Like, shut up. Really nice that you're trying to give this movie all <laughs> that credit. And, justice. So and then credit. it doesn't exist. I so, know. Don't, don't, I'm don't trying. try and make excuses for them. So, Wes, very nice of you. Wes Craven, Wes Craven it famously. Is your parents day. So, I was just <laughs> but trying see what to... happens when you forgive, you die. <laughs> Crystal, you know how excited I was this morning when I looked up holidays and saw forgive I your hate mom and dad you so day? Much. And I'm like, I'm like, I had to check and see if I made the day as like a joke years ago and forgot about it. No, you <laughs> Why never couldn't have. it be International Nachos Day? That's all I'm asking. I don't know. It's they were like, every day. single day Nacho is always day. like 10 holidays. And that was the funniest one. Uh, but listen, 
Wes Craven Ooh. hated yeah. uh, the ending of the original with the mom because yeah. it's sequel baiting. He didn't yep. like it. He yep. said the movie ends when Nancy conquers her fear. Yep. But this movie had to do the scene. And, you know, granted, uh, this, really respectful to the original, the effect of the mom being pulled through the door was awful. Yeah. And this CG effect of her being pulled into the mirror after she turns into a cartoon face is also terrible. That was a good callback <laughs> to the terrible effect in the original. Did you ever see my review of the Nightmare on Elm Street game? We remade that effect, but it was Jessica. Jessica Aww. turns into a dummy and gets pulled into a thing. I love Jessica. <laughs> maybe, was that maybe yeah. what one of the uh, girls that came through the to the store? Was it Jessica? No, she wasn't Jessica in that episode. Through? She wasn't. No, Sorry. shit. Um, so, yeah, uh, that scene sucked. Uh, yeah. Freddy's still alive and we never saw him again. This movie's terrible. Mm -hmm. Alternate ending? Okay, what is the alternate ending? Maybe okay. this yeah, will win know, me back. I don't know anything about this. You ready for this? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do a horrible way of explaining It wasn't this. on the DVD? I did not watch that far, apparently. Okay. I found it on YouTube. Okay. Because I was like, I'm not re-watching this entire movie. And then I was like, alternative you know scene. I feel like it wasn't on. I feel like the DVD did not have any like additional scenes. There was just a like a little video about them making the movie. Okay. Because they didn't want to show they how didn't... bad... It was. No. So he's on the bed with Nancy and all of a sudden his face goes back to normal. Okay. No. His face goes back to when he was the gardener. Okay. Um, And he makes it super, super awkward and creepy. I think it's very similar lines. And then instead of falling through the bed, it's a really bad flash. Okay. And he gets pulled through same way as the other, um, as getting the adrenaline. Okay. And it was a way worse fight scene. Okay. His neck does not get sliced. He backs up into the fireplace and his leg catches on fire. And he's really, really pathetic in the real world. He just mm. looks like a really, really, really sad man. And she's Which yelling, they try to do with Freddy's dad. Yeah. But she's just yelling at him and yelling at him. Mm. And he's just cowering. That's like the ending of the new It movie. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then all I of a sudden, like next thing you know, she kind of almost like the like pours some um gasoline or whatever it is, flammable the liquid kerosene on him. probably. Yeah. yeah. And then he catches more on fire. Ooh. The love interest over there, Quint doesn't he's just kinda like, nah. He doesn't have anything. <laughs> he's just laying there. She goes over, it's like, okay, we gotta get out of here. You see them go up the steps mm. and you just see Freddie kind of tumbling around in the basement. That almost seems kind of funny. Was it. That seems kind of funny, to be and honest. Was, but in his real ah! life, that's all it was. Is you just see everything kind of collapsing, and he's just like, oh. And it was just so sad and pathetic. I was like, I get the idea of one, and like he's been a threat the whole time, but now that the elements changed, the tables have turned on him. But, but also, not like, a really satisfying ending, I guess. If he was able to change his face the entire time, but yet he's sad. Because there's been, I don't know if in this movie, but I know in the other ones where he's like, "What happened? Look what you did to." I think they might have said it. Look what you did to me. That's he what says they it said. In this, I think. Yeah. yeah, and he goes, yeah. "Look what you did to me." She says it in the alternate. She goes, "What I did? Oh, uh, look what you did to me. Look what you did to me." Yeah. And she's freaking over at that. But if you could change your face back to what it originally was, then what's your problem? If you're complaining about, and also it's Freddie. He's dressed up like lady nurses. He could do whatever he wants. <laughs> he doesn't need the burnt face. He just likes it for yeah, whatever he's reason. He's complaining about. I get like, oh look, what you you killed me and burned. But you, like... you know what? There was actually another deleted scene where he's like. I can't change my face permanently. The fish demon said I had to be the scary burnt face most of the time. <laughs> and then the fish demons came in. They were like, ha, 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 what's you up? You don't see him really transforming, though, in this movie. That's the mm. thing. How many did he transform into any other character? I know in the... In the oh, yeah, no, he, does, he, he does it. Because the original, he's like the girl in the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his, is uh, it yeah. in the original where his tongue goes through the phone? Yes. That's yeah. in the original. You yep. see none Oh, he of does do the boyfriend yeah. line. He's like, I'm her boyfriend now or something like that. Yeah, but he yeah. doesn't do any of the fun characteristic things. Yeah, because it's not a good movie. So if you're changing, <laughs> so you don't know he can change. That explains that. That explains that. We did it. <laughs> yeah, the alternative scene, look it up on YouTube. It's I'll just, look it up. It's really bad. Uh, Unfortunately, I hate to say huh. what they actually did was better. I can see that. Bad. And maybe that's why they ripped off Freddy versus Jason. They're like, this ending sucks. sucks just do yeah. what they did in the last movie that everyone saw. Um, yeah. Not a good movie. Uh, I mean, 
There's some, like I said, I like some of the interesting visuals. I like some of the transitions between Dream World yeah. to Dream World. Um, Jackie Earl Haley sucks in yeah, this. I was so sad. Again, it should have been Billy Bob Thornton, but just doing Bad Santa. Not <laughs> mm-hmm. even like, not even, not even in makeup. I would have preferred Billy Bob Thornton not even be in burn makeup. Uh, if um, you could change three things in this movie to make it better, what would it be? Well, one, I changed Nancy's name so we don't know she's the main character. Two, I cast Katie Cassidy as the Nancy character because she's a better actress. If, for all of your wishes, that's what you would wish. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's like you I could think... have anybody in the movie and you picked a different actor that was already in the movie to be in a different they role. They played both the characters, though. The yeah. thing is, the, yeah. in, his, in his head, they played the, the, the <laughs> different characters. Because she's like, that was the hottest actress in the entire movie, so we're going to have her yeah. as the lead. That's how Tony thinks. But, like, you could have had a different hot actress added to yeah, the movie. Yeah, who was big in 2010? Who was, like, the, the it girl? Mary Elizabeth Wynn said I would put her in it. She did so good in Black Christmas. Um, if it was a movie today, I'd be like Sydney Sweeney as the main girl, yeah. Sydney Sweeney as the mom, Sydney <laughs> Sweeney as Freddy Krueger, Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> I'm excited for Madam Web. This comes out afterwards. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest superhero film of all time. <laughs> it's going to be my favorite Spider Man movie. I didn't Spider-Man know it movie. existed until we went to the movie theater. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, Madam Web. I used to see her in comics all the time and cartoons, and she's always an elderly lady. Now she's Dakota Johnson for some reason. I, they took some liberties with that casting. This is the worst. It's It already came out, right? By the time this comes out, it'll come out. It's not out by the time we're shooting. They, this. Uh, oh, maybe it was. This is the least anticipated Spider-Man movie that. In well, the after Morbius, series. audience caught on. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, Spider-Man's not going to be in this." Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway, we talk about Spider-Man all day long, and I intend to right now. So the first one, Tobey Maguire. No, uh, yeah, we all hate this movie. I think it's the worst Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Absolutely, oh, I, with no. no question. Hands. Some up. people still say Freddy's dead. Well, those people are idiots. No. They're idiots. And also, I, I don't know if you saw, I did do that video where I found yes. the work print. And I wish some of those scenes were incorporated back into it. Mm-hmm. That helped. I would love to see that. You didn't watch my video? No. Oh. Sorry. That video didn't do super well. I would have helped if you like watched it and shared yeah, it. But, sure yeah, I share that one view. Fine. That's fine. Ugh. I'll just <laughs> keep on going all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think this is the worst remake out of the classic 80 slashers? I guess Halloween is technically 1978, but I kind of hate that one more. You think that's worse? Uh, that one I just hate more because I care more about Halloween. Uh, I will say I out of out made. of the Platinum Dunes remakes, Texas Chainsaw, Friday the 13th, this, this is definitely the worst. Yeah. Out of remakes from that era. Not from like because you care about one of the movies yeah. more, but because it's I think this poorly is made. Yes. I, I think so, I too. think that, like, as I'm thinking through all of the different remakes, I think that not only is this the worst at doing justice to the original, yes, but I usually don't feel like things take away from the originals. I yeah. feel like this took away from the original. I think it disrespected yeah. the original, yeah. even though they were trying it to... It kind of killed Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Again, I mean, I think that you don't even need to have a conversation more than that. Wes Craven did not know it existed until they were in production. The the bare minimum that you can do is say, hey, dude, I understand that you sold your franchising rights to this. I understand that it's not yours anymore, but you also created this universe. But why not have him include? Because he was somewhat, or his son at least, was somewhat involved with the other two remakes. And those did well, were well received. Why wouldn't you get him and his son to be somewhat involved with this? was any of the other remakes that they did have anyone from the original involved? I know for like Halloween, wasn't John Carpenter was still no, John Carpenter just said cut me the check. Yeah, but uh, like but he no, still knew it was happening. He knew it he was happening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I think that something that was different about this one than Wes Craven's other movies is that in order to get the original and Nightmare on Elm Street made, he had to sell the franchising rights and all the production yeah. rights to it. So he had absolutely nothing. He had no stake in the game from them doing this. Yeah. And so that's probably why they didn't include him. Now, that's shitty. Like, that's shitty. It is. the end Le- of the story. If you had gotten him involved and said, hey, what do you think? Maybe we can hire you as a consultant. Maybe, yeah. you know, like... We would love to have your opinion, or if you don't want to give us your opinion, you know, yeah. at least be aware look, look, of the fact that it exists in the same way that, yeah. you know. I'll, well, look, I'll uh, side with the studio uh, a little bit. No. They don't need to get his thing. But but I'm thinking, like, hey, wait a minute. Him and his son actually worked on the other remakes, which were well-received and made a ton of money. 
why don't we have him involved with this one to help us out? Like, at least ask him. Uh, but Robert Englewood knew about it. Englewood? Yeah. Robert Englewood? <laughs> <laughs> Robert Englewood. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> And I know his name so well. My brain, you were passionate someone. about what you were going to say. I say the same I you were right the, uh, there. My brain stops when I all of a sudden I get like ideas, or I get I get really excited, and my words get jumbled. That's when you when my words get jumbled, I'm excited. <laughs> I my brain doesn't work normally. I will say, um, my friends, uh, I had them on the show, uh, the episode on how to make film documentaries. I interviewed the directors of the Robert Englund documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those guys are cool. That Robert England documentary is really it's good. Great, yeah. it's really good. Uh, but you were just about to say, yeah. Why would you tell Robert? Yeah. When you didn't tell Wes, yeah. exactly. Like why? Why would you do that? And and Robert gave his stamp of approval. Yeah. And so why again? Not like so why didn't somebody just be like, hey, Wes Craven? Yeah. But I'm curious if they were fearful of what he had to say yeah. because his opinions on it one would have probably been out there in the public before the movie got made and yeah. say like hey this isn't good i don't like yeah. it yeah or i mean he could just be very angry that he just didn't know about it which is what fueled his he emotions probably wouldn't more. have cared he's not involved but with all the sequels i, I probably he, wouldn't have cared i think i think yeah. they just did it dirty i think yeah. he probably he obviously cares and it they wanted to do it a very specific way. They were very, very, very proud of this movie as they were yeah. making it, as you probably mm. saw too in the interviews and stuff. Ugh. Just bragging about the makeup and the special effects yeah. and how they were so excited to release this. But if you had the original, and they also say we wanted to honor Wes Craven. They say it yeah. multiple times, but you didn't even tell him about it. So how are you honoring well, him? Well, the actors You're and whatnot are him. not responsible for that. <laughs> but I didn't the directors also said something about... Maybe. It was weird they didn't get a Marcus for this one because he did Friday 13th and yeah. Texas Chainsaw. But then when he uh, ruined Conan the Barbarian with that terrible remake, he got Rose McGowan <laughs> to have a knife hand. <laughs> Rose McAdams. Rose McAdams. <laughs> Rose McAdams. He got her to wear like a knife hand. I'm like, oh, is that his way of being like, I didn't get to do the Freddy remake, so here's a Freddy reference in my horrible Conan the Barbarian movie. Can we do Eddie versus Freddy? What the hell? <laughs> Eddie versus Eddie's Edward Scissor Hands versus <laughs> Eddie versus Freddy, please. Again, that also probably exists. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it I out. I would love to see that. Anyway, that is it from us. <laughs> Crystal, where can we find you? And shout out your teddy bear. I got this awesome teddy bear. I love it. Like, from, I actually truly love this. From the flail. Thank you so much Thank for you, all your flail. stuffed animals you've given us. I love this. You weren't around yet. He didn't get one for you. Sorry. Maybe um, next year. I'll live. Maybe next year. Crystal. Yeah. Do you have anything to plug? <laughs> um find me on my socials you'll see it uh twitter instagram um i'm streaming more on twitch hopefully so playing, i well at the time of this recording you were streaming you were playing <laughs> outlast that's a good game oh my gosh outlast so outlast good. 2 is really creepy and i just started at least this time this being recorded i'm playing poppy oh. which is super interesting um oh. that's a fun little horror game that i'm playing it's just like I want to play more games, and I also want to stream more. I got to get back to that, too. Hopefully, I've gotten back to it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, and uh, I believe you have a uh, cameo that I get residuals oh, from. Oh, yeah. If people order keep, a cameo. I'm going to wait. Isn't there, like, a time limit on that? What? Isn't it, like, isn't there a time limit? Like, first three months, you get a residual? You better be residual. fucking pumping out those cameos. I was going to wait until I was done. I wasn't going to announce it until the residuals were done. And then I was like, okay, great. Tony doesn't make shit from this. But thanks for my instant uh, acceptance of Cameo. Good job. Good job. What is that Cameo again? Uh, Crystal Quinn. Okay. Literally all Why are you my... so bad at plugging? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel weird. Literally, I'm still not good at like self-promotion because I feel weird. The last weird. live episode I asked I've her... never wanted to get a Cameo more. <laughs> the last Crystal's live episode. Right now, if I had to subscribe to Cameo right now, if I had to go and get a Cameo from somebody that was in this room right now, it would definitely be Crystal. Thank you. Thank you. You should have one too. This is for the... Uh... Can you please give her your thing so she can actually have a Cameo? Yeah, but we have to wait. So that, oh, you can still get it. But the thing is, if you don't get it now, it's going to take like you got to wait longer for his residuals to 
end. Go away. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So we got to get it now so we can like yeah. wait it out. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's payback for the, did you guys see any girls in the store bit? Thank yeah. you. Uh, oh, okay. no, that yeah, was this one was real. Yeah. That one was a bit. <laughs> this is uh, actually, uh, it's uh, funny that he thought that was payback. <laughs> Kaylee. Yes. You sure you're not trans? Because we got more comments about it. I know. It. Everybody always thinks that. <laughs> no. Where can we find you? It's my favorite question. <laughs> where can we find you? Um, you can find me on my channel, which is Once Over with Kaylee, C-A-Y-L-E-Y. I do movie reviews, lots of fun stuff. Sometimes Tony comes and joins me over there. Um, and you can also find me every Wednesday night on Who Are These Podcasts, mm -hmm. where we talk about really, really bad podcasts. I'm so happy you're on that full time. Oh, me too. <laughs> I, I mean, at least as of right now. You know what's funny? By the time I, literally, out, it's like, I literally listen to that when I'm either at the gym or cooking. So it's become like this thing where I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday. I'm either lifting or cooking to- You're lifting? To, yeah. Okay, bro. I'm sure by the time this comes out, I'll look a little bit better. <laughs> He's just jacked. Oh, He's like, got a protein shake. Right next to him. I'm like I'm like jacked. I'm like yeah, Lucy. Tell Stutter and Johnny sucks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Every other word that he says is bro in the review. <laughs> I'm here for that. <laughs> No. For one episode, yeah. not and one. Then, yeah, and then I'm and then done. I'm like, God damn Look, it. we're still we're still early in the game here. Okay, <laughs> it's not as graceful as it could be. All right, I gotta start <gasps> increasing. Okay, bro. Okay. But when I worked ahead. out over the summer, I pinched a nerve in my shoulder, so I started off light this time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, once over with Kaylee. He literally yeah. is doing one pounders. <laughs> the old lady's next to him. I'm not Frank Costanza. He's doing the, <laughs> the fast walk. So, so <laughs> that's his lifting, though. Yeah. Someone made fun of me. They, Call me Frank Costanza. He's like, I worked out with dumbbells yesterday. I feel vigorous. <laughs> so anyway, continue. Uh, those are the things. Once okay. over with Kaylee. <laughs> Once and over with also, Kaylee. who are these podcasts? And maybe a cameo at some point. Yeah. And I get a cut of cameo no. steak. Uh, yes, <laughs> cameo.com slash Johnny Peluso and Patreon.com. Wait, can I get the cameo and then you get the residuals from it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you my uh, code. Referral yes. code. Referral code, yes. Anyone else want a referral code? We'll just make the whole world a cameo. I hate you so much. Anyway, <laughs> that is it from us. Patreon, check that out. Uh, Cass Oliver's the Pod Monster. I'm sure. Tony, where can we find going. you? I, I'm literally <laughs> saying it right now. <laughs> Crystal, before we go, can you open up your a WB Horror Blind oh, Box? Yeah. I want to know who it is. This is really cool. Thank you. Tony, Kay Kay Casey for got once. Megan. I want to know who you get. I don't want to like the coffins. I think there's like a spot though. You didn't have to like shred it. Who'd you get? I always get Annabelle. Oh, you got Annabelle? I for some reason I get Annabelle stuff constantly and it just appears. Like I did another mystery uh bag at a con and it was earrings. And I got Annabelle earrings. Ah. And like everything just pops up Annabelle. Well, t Merry Christmas. It's March, but Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Forgive Your Mom and Dad Day. <laughs> there is your gift. Why is she black and white? I don't She's fucking not know. a ginger, but I still love it. Thank you. I don't know. That's it for us. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.